that should do it. I think. I, I do believe, I dare say, I dare say we are live, so... With that being said, just on time... <clears throat> I was actually cutting close a bit there. Well, hello everyone, it's your favorite programming error that just refuses to be fixed. Code here. Today! Today, today, today. We're playing more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, continuing on our little Nuzlocke. Our goal today is to climb up Mount Cornet to finally put a stop to Team Galactic's plans. And that's, and that's gonna entail some... Some legendary catching, you know? First thing I do when getting into the game is saving. Really unnecessary, but I'll do it anyway. Okay. So just double checking the map to make sure. Yes. We are supposed to be heading towards Mount Cornet. Now, what's the best way to get there? Celestic Town or going over here from Hard Home? I think I'm gonna try... I think I'm gonna try getting in there from Hard Home. Because I just, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Hopefully this will allow me to get in there. Also, I never went here, did I? Amity Square, right. I never went to Amity Square. Let's uh, actually do that this time, shall we? Okay, here we go. Amity Square. We go for a stroll. Our... Wow, they're really limiting here. Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Sarah, Torture. Usage of Bloom, Vaneri, and Happiny. Are you kidding me? Wow, you can't even take any Pokemon you want for a stroll. That's... You know, that's... No. Why? Why must you hurt me in this way, game? Let's get on our bike and get to work, shall we? Okay, Mount Coronet should be this way. If I just pass through this, there should be a cave entrance here somewhere. Also, <laughs> welcome to another part of Code's gardening stream. Today we're going to be harvesting some cherry berries, which we planted a while ago. As you can see, we are har harvesting much more than usual. The expected amount is two, and we already have one berry bush with four berries and one with three berries. These are the benefits of planting multiples of the same kind of berry bush right next to each other. They very much benefit from this, although you will still find one with the basic output every once in a while. One is usually to be expected, with that one basically boosting the others around it. However, in this case, we have two harvests that aren't quite as good as they could be. In any case, it was definitely a decent harvest. Now, as always, we cannot forget to plant new berries in their place. That is an important thing that you must always do. In this case, we're gonna be planting some uh, Yapap Yapapa berries. Seeing as we have don't have too many of them, and I do not believe we have planted some of those before. Now, when planting Yapapa berries, the same principles apply as when planting any other berries. You have to make sure that they're all nicely lined up in a row. And to make sure to only plant one berry per bush you want to grow. Now in addition, as always, you have to make sure to water them properly, otherwise they won't grow as nicely as they could. Again, even though watering one might be enough to wa also water the plant next to it, it can't hurt to play it safe and want to water each one of the berry bushes separately. If you water them each separately, that basically guarantees a nice harvest in the future. Let's finish it off with the final one. And now these berries should be good to grow. Also, since we're here, we might as well go in here and grab some more berries, because I think you get free berries here, right? Mm hmm. Oh, I just planted those. How nice of you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, back to our quest. We're supposed to be going towards Mount Coronet, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep saving. So if I'm not mistaken, the final gym we're supposed to be facing is an electric-type gym. Is my team prepared for this? Probably. I mean, I have a ground-type, which basically means complete immunity. 
Um, so, yeah, we should be good to go. Debbie and Aqua definitely won't be able to do anything. As for the rest, they're pretty middle of the road. But yeah, other than that, I think... I think that's about it. Okay, let's take a look around here. Oh, there's something to climb over here. Which I now can. Yes. Let's get up here. Let's see what we can find. And then we'll head into the into the game. Unless... Hello? Oh, you're a trainer. They call me the Echo Man. Battle with me. Yahoo! Why do they call you the Echo Man? Are you gonna say the exact same thing after the fight is over? Hiker Alexander. With your gold bat. Okay, how strong actually are you? How strong are you? Shouldn't be too strong, right? I mean, this is an early area, yeah. I mean, it's still manageable. It's definitely still a little bit higher than the tra other trainers in this area, but that's because you can't actually get to him when you first pass through here, because you don't have rock climb at that point in time. So that's a nice little, nice little difference that you have to look out for. Okay, gravel off. It might have sturdy. But if it doesn't, it's gonna die. But I think it has sturdy. I think this evolution line is basically guaranteed to have sturdy. Never mind. <sighs> you know, you're kind of unlucky, Mr. Alexander. Good old high man. Two level ups. Get all the level ups we can. That's always important. Now this. This is gonna have sturdy. Right? Sturdy incoming. Right? Sturdy. Yes. You know, it was kind of obvious. At least one of his Pokemon would have Sturdy. Curse. You know, Curse isn't really gonna do much for you. Let's face it. What do you think you're accomplishing by cursing? <laughs> Nothing, that's what. Okay. Now, I know no one's here yet and I'm currently just streaming for myself, but we're not doing anything. As of right now. The first part of the stream was a little bit of berry harvesting and us making our way up Mount Cornet. I think it's only gonna start getting interesting once we get up there and run into some, you know, Team Galactic grunts. Oh, you're, you're the lake. No. No, you're the lake. Okay. There has to be something up here, right? There's no way the game would allow me to go up here without a purpose. There's a hidden item here. Right? Hidden item? Hidden item? Hidden item? There really was no point in coming up here, are you serious? Why was there no point in coming up there? That's mean. Also, I could technically surf now on the... And there is actually a point in doing that. Okay, we're gonna go down there and surfing a bit. And Debbie, hello, 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 welcome to the stream. You didn't miss much, we didn't really do anything yet. Just harvesting some berries and slowly but surely making our way to Mount Cornet. Where we're gonna be fighting Team Plasma, uh, Team Galactic, sorry, wrong Pokemon team. <laughs> we're gonna be facing Team Galactic and I think catching the legendaries. So that's gonna be nice. But we only just started heading there, so there's still quite a bit to go. Yeah, come up with a great strategy, I will. That strategy is running away, the Joe Star family secret technique. Okay, now the main reason I went down here was just because there was one more trainer. And hey, it's a fisherman, so you know what? Debbie, since you're here and since this is a fisherman... <laughs> I'll haul you up and out. Let's see. Unless this dude again has flying types, which I hope not. Cody, please don't tell me you have fired, uh, flying types. Barboge. See, that's, this is easy. This is easy. Speaking of the Joe Star secret technique. Ooh boy. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Jojo stuff incoming. Also nice one shot, Debbie. Appreciate it. I mean, these dudes are pretty low level, I think, so who really cares? They barely give experience. Oh, look at that, a flying type. But you know what? We don't care. Um, we're gonna Giga Drain anyway, even if it's a flying type. 
Your back? What about my back? <laughs> Debbie landed a crit wishing to be, to be praised. Okay, Debbie, you did an amazing job. Thanks for landing the crit. Amazing. Keep doing that. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I do be back though. Hmm. <clears throat> Yet for Christmas, he got me a Jojo mark, which has Joseph on it, so he's just... All-knowing guy, I guess. That is really nice. When he gave you that, did you try uh, talking to him about about Jojo? And asking him whether or not he has a clue about that character, and if he's interested... <laughs> Drag your dad into anime, come on! <laughs> Starting with Jojo. <laughs> My paranoid is restrained, especially in battle. Nah. Did not. Uh. You know, I'm not even sure if it would be a good idea. Might be a little bit cringe. He has no idea about anime. <laughs> well, at least he at least he likes JoJo enough to appreciate the character design and everything for the mark. Don't know how he knew about JoJo. You just know. Hang on, do I have repels? I don't think I have repels. You know what I'm gonna do? These encounters are gonna be incredibly annoying, and I don't want to deal with it, so we're actually gonna quickly go back and get some repels. <laughs> because I don't feel like any of you are interested in me running around the cave, constantly running away from random encounters. Also, since we're back anyway, we might as well refresh our PP real quick. Gotta get them PP in here. But yeah. Also, again, it is good to be back, even though I did one stream already, and that stream was long. Compared to other streams I've done in the past. And that Danganronpa stream was incredibly long, and I only managed to um, make, t uh, make two characters playable for my party. And you can have a party of up to four characters. So... <laughs> An incredibly long stream, and I still only have half a half a party to go into the tower. <laughs> That's a yikes. <laughs> okay, hey, you sell repel, right? Yes. Um, might as well go for max repel, cause why not? I mean, we have the money right now. Gonna go for thirty. Should have escape rope if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I have three, that's more than enough. Next up, I have barely any max potions. It's time to change that. There we go. Gotta prepare myself a little bit, you know? And since we are about to encounter a legendary, it's best if we, um, if we stack up on Pokeballs too. Might as you know what? Let's go for net balls because they're good against water type. Actually, no, never mind. We're getting the steel type. We're getting the steel type. So yeah, no, net balls not worth it for us. And the <laughs> if I had shining pearl, we could have used net balls. I mean, we could still could do that, but there's no benefit to doing that. And yes, I always buy them in bundles of ten just so I can get a ma uh, as many premier balls as possible. It's just more efficient. If you want more Pokeballs, you always buy 10 at once. Never more, never less. Because otherwise you're mis wasting money. I know Premier Balls aren't that great, but... Come on. Okay, I think that should be enough. Also, Debbie, I think you are gonna be helpful when it comes to catching the Legendary. Because, you know, you are only Pokemon on the team who can do anything status condition -y to it. We have Ugly B, who can poison opponents, but since we're facing a Steel-type Pokemon, that ain't gonna work. Plus, with poison, there's the chance of it dying, which we don't want, so... Debbie, you're gonna be very valuable once we reach the Legendary. Very valuable. Okay. That's what I'm- that's what I'm waiting for! Woo! <laughs> nah. But really. Gonna be very useful as our only Pokemon who can paralyze opponents. Actually, technically Immortal can do it too, but only with a... But not guaranteed. Because Immortal knows Body Slam, which has a chance to paralyze opponents, but you have a move that's spe uh, specifically designed to paralyze with a 100% chance. 
even though it doesn't have 100% accuracy, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> okay. Now then, I should have a repel. Multiple, in fact. Repel is now active. Let's go. So, how do I progress? Okay, so I go up here, then surf. Wait for more free games on Steam? That's always a good thing. Some are pretty nice. May find a banger like Genshin, even though that's technically not on Steam. Or a shite game. Could be the one. Okay. Now be careful. So much for being careful. Alright, back around we go, because I am an idiot. That'll be fun. I mean, if it's free, there's really no harm in it, is there? Because you can always just, like, uninstall it. Okay, this time be more careful. Okay, one, two, three, four step. You gotta be kidding me. I counted... I went step by step. Aligning myself with the grid, by the way. And I still fell down. Okay, so I can't align myself with the grid, otherwise I'll fall down immediately. So I'm gonna... Need to... Carefully. There we go. Okay, got it. That's... This is a yikes. If you align yourself with the grid and go step by step, that still doesn't guarantee that you can actually make it. And that's horrible. So the free online Halo? Nah. Mm. Until when I was younger, so I don't know if the new one will be fun. Understandable. I didn't really get into Halo that much either, so... In fact, I just know that it's... <laughs> you know, it has a big fandom. And the theme song is great. And that's about... <laughs> that's... Basically my knowledge of Halo. I know, I know! How could you? How could you not be an expert on Halo? How, can, how come you haven't played so many great games? Yeah, I know. I know I suck. I want to find all this stuff. I know I need to go north, so I'm going south right now. Also, rock slide, nice. But yeah, since I know I'm gonna have to go north to progress, I'm heading south just to get the full exploration done here. Okay, there's something out here. I think it's an item. Right, and then I rock climb down here, and I think there's an item. I think there is an item. Yes! Please be good. Iron. I mean, it's not bad. I haven't really used all these uh, stat-up items as of now. But I probably should use them at some point. <laughs> to protect my team a bit more. Okay. Now that's this area explored. I went the wrong way. Okay. I can do this. We can, we can, we can, fi we can find everything we need to find. A revive. Again, another very, very useful item in the Nuzlocke. God damn it. How many times am I gonna accidentally stumble down one of those slopes? I think they're intentionally placed to make you fall down accidentally. Ooh. I hate it. Honkai? I mean, uh... I mean, I don't need to get multiple, into multiple, I'm already playing enough gacha games, I don't need to get into Honkai as well, I think Genshin's enough for me right now, and, you know, all the other gacha games I'm playing. I don't need any more at this point. Okay, let's work. I need to go north, but so I need to find out what's down here first. You know how I was talking about how useful the revive is gonna be? I think the game heard me and was like, Oh! Oh, you think revives are useful? Here's a max revive! Ah. Raise my blood pressure enough whenever I wish. Yep, understandable. There we go! We've reached the grunts! Okay, we're getting close. That means we're definitely going the right way now. Three grunts have been assigned two noble jobs. One to ensure the success of operation at the summit, and two to utterly destroy anyone who dares interfere. I dare interfere. Now let's see if you can actually do your job. 
with one Pokemon. Who do we have out front? Debbie, are you still out front? I think no, I think we switched. Yeah. Oh, it would have been perfect if you were out front. Would have been a mirror match. Ah. Uh, well, it can't always work out like that, now can it? Level 40, though. Okay. They're actually not too bad. I mean, yeah, we're... Ten, about 10 levels ahead of them, but still. Still. Compared to the level 30 opponents we had earlier, they're definitely a bit better now. I don't accept this. I will not accept this. Well, you're gonna have to, so hand over your money. While I move on and utterly destroy anyone else who's here. A super repel. Good thing I keep spamming A. Hello. Our time has come. It's Team Galactic's time now. At least you're in the correct game. The other one would have been more about space, but... Your talk about time makes sense in this case. A Bronzor. Okay then. Bronzor it is. Here's the annoying part about Bronzor. It can be slightly tanky. I think I'm gonna let Ugly Bee handle this. Because why not, really? Ugly Bee has super effective moves, so we might as well. Alright. Show us what you can do. Iron Defense. Okay, we're gonna go for special attacks. Got it. <laughs> Got it. We're definitely going for special attacks. In which case, Flamethrower it is. And... One shot? Not a one shot. I'm guessing it has heat proof. Yeah, it definitely had heat proof. If that was a crit, it has to have heat proof. Okay, that is uh, that is good to know. Not like it's gonna be much. That knowledge, not like that knowledge is gonna be much use, considering you're about to die by a physical move, nonetheless. Uh, nonetheless. So let's see. Yep. Thanks, Ugly B, for not attacking yourself. Okay. Immortal and Ugly Bee leveled up. Nice. Both of them. Very great to have leveled up. Especially Immortal, considering the typing of the next gym we have to face. When's, when's it gonna be my turn? Never. I just got beat up. Sorry, mate. Moving on. What do we have now? We outside? We're outside. This still counts as Mount Coronet, right? So we can't get a new encounter. Which, yeah, I mean, maybe it's kind of disappointing, but oh well. Ooh, this is gonna be confusing. Anyway, I'm gonna go basically anywhere I can, except for north right now. If I can go any other way except north, I'm gonna take it. That This just screams hidden item now, doesn't it? So what do we have here? A max potion. Very useful. That might be the way to progress. Damn it. Backtracking now. In that case, what's in here? Hidden item? Had a feeling. Another ball, useful for catching the legendary. Very useful, very useful. And I need a waterfall to take a shortcut here, which I do not have. But there might be something else. No, there's nothing else. Okay, got it. So this is a potential f uh, shortcut for the future. Got it. And what about up here? I'm guessing I have to go back into the cave to progress, so I'm exploring everything else, as I said. That's a hidden item. A nugget. Okay, got it. Nugget obtained. Who leaves their nuggets out here in the freezing cold? Okay, back into the cave. Let's go. Yes. This definitely feels like the way to progress. And that wouldn't have been much of a shortcut, by the way. Just a way around some tall grass. Hello, Mr. Grunt. A time will come. A time for only us. In the other version, do they talk about something space-related instead of time? I'm going to turn back your time to a time before Pokemon. 
Are they talking about space in the other version, or is all their talk about time? Ooh, you actually have a team. With your dust stocks, okay, okay. Now, if you have a team, that means it's gonna be worth setting up. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's set up one tail glow. Oh, actually, because you have a team, that means your team is gonna be incredibly weak when it comes to levels. <laughs> so this was entirely unnecessary. Light screen. Yeah, I should have just attacked. Actually, scratch that, because light screen halves the damage they take from special moves. And if I enhance my special attack by two stages, that's doubling it, and I enhance it by three stages, so I'm still dealing more damage than I did previously. So this is still a net plus for me. Plus, my boost is permanent, unlike light screen. So we take those. Another dust stalks, okay. Do you have a theme of three dust stalks? Again, you gotta get more variety. Although I shouldn't complain because at least you're using something other than the Zubat line and the Glamiao line. Those two are just far too popular. And yeah, they've been using Wurmple before, but at least he has three fully evolved Pokemon, even if it's the same one. But still. Actually, no, no, he, he has some variety, okay. Credit where it's due, you have two fully evolved Pokemon and um, another Pokemon that's been evolved once. So, it's a, it's a, it's an alright team compared to other Grunts. Compared to other Grunts, your team isn't that bad. You should definitely ask for a promotion. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> also, the strategy of uh, setting up a screen, turn one, definitely not too bad either. Ah! Out of all the grunts I've fought so far, I think you might be you might be the best one. Okay, now that that's taken care of, next grunt. Team Galactic is all powerful. Only a fool would show defiance to the mighty might of Team Galactic. I will definitely show your mighty might some defiance. Let's see your team. A stunky. Okay, okay. Which, at this point, should have already evolved, considering its level, right? Come on, shot the level. Yeah, actually, should it be evolved? When did it evolve again? I Definitely before that, though, right? It definitely should already be evolved. How did your, your Pokémon not evolve, buddy? How horrible of a trainer are you? Like the previous guy, the only reason his Golbot didn't evolve was because, yeah, friendship level and everything. But Stunky evolves just from leveling. So, for, you have no excuse for your Stunky not being evolved at this point. No excuse. Screech. Now see, Screech can be kind of threatening. Except in this case, because I'm gonna take him out with my next attack. And there you have it. Also, I think it's nice that both games I'm currently playing are RPGs. <laughs> Get enough of those RPGs, right? But saying up to the mighty is foolish, you say? Standing up to them with no might of your own is also foolish, I say. Item? Escape rope, okay, got it. Also, I just realized we're not gonna have Friday Night Funkin' for two weeks in a row, you know why? Because <laughs> this week, um, New Year's is on Friday, and I'm not gonna be streaming on New Year's, so... Yeah. Sorry for anyone who really likes Friday Night Funkin' on the channel, but it can't happen all the time. A rare candy. Very nice, very nice. I'm guessing the cave is to progress again, so... We're gonna be rock climbing up here. Right? No, the way up here is to progress. Okay, we're going back down. What's in the cave? What's in the cave? A grunt? This is our final operation. No one will interfere. Wait, which is the way to progress? There's a grunt in the cave, but the other path seems to be heading north. And north is the way I'm supposed to be going, right? I'm confused. What should I do? Which way to progress? Which way to explore? I do not know. 
Okay, I know one thing about Golbat, it'll tank one hit, so I might as well use Tail Glow into Bubble Beam. No harm in doing this. Air Cutter. You missed! Nice going, Aqua. And now Bubble Beam it. The fact that Aqua still uses Bubble Beam. I could have I could have taught her scores by now, honestly, but. When it comes to TMs, I'm always a bit, ah, should I, should I teach this? I'm not sure. Turn the tables on me, I can't call into... Th yeah, no. No. Okay, let's just hope this isn't the way to progress. No, but it looks like it might be. You know what? I think this is the way to progress. Judging purely by the fact that there was a grunt here, I think this is where we're supposed to be going. So we're gonna go the other way. And if there's a grunt the other way, then I honestly don't know anymore. Oh, please, as long as there's no grunt up here, I think the cave is the correct way to go. Okay, let's see. Tiny mushroom. Another cave. Where am I even going right now? This is heading up quite a bit. Which way is the correct way? Which one is the incorrect way? I don't know anymore. I was going to do something huge at the summit, but here I am dealing with some pesky intruder. It's funny the atmosphere. You can lose quickly, right? Um, I can win quickly. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's see, a team of two, okay. We are bronze or Okay, okay, I see, I see. So here's the plan. Um, boost up against Bronzor, then go into Bubble Beam one shot and one shot whatever the second Pokemon is. Seems simple enough, right? Extra sensory, we tank that easily. Yeah. Sorry, buddy, but you really gotta grind a bit more if you wanna set in a chance against me. Okay. But I think, you know what, I think this might be the right way. I know we're heading south technically right now, but we're heading up a whole lot of stairs. And that means we're getting close to the summit, I think. Stairs definitely means close to the summit. I will follow this path a little bit longer, but we're probably gonna turn around in a bit. It's so hard to pick all the wrong paths on purpose. You're not supposed to work me over like that. Hey, I do what I do. You cannot stop me. Because I have Stardust. Crusaders. <laughs> Hello. Team Galactic will take control of everything. You can try all you want, but you can't do anything alone. I am not alone. I have a team of trusty Pokemon. That always stand by my side. What do you have? A Bronzor. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Okay, in that case, same strategy, I think, right? Just Tail Glow into Bubble Beam. And yeah, the reason I prefer using Tail Glow when I know I could two-shot with Bubble Beam instead is because, well, I'm gonna run out of Bubble Beam PP far too quickly. <laughs> Which is why I prefer using Tail Glow and then actually one-shotting. <laughs> because that conserves way more PP. Especially considering currently Bubble Beam is still our only attacking move. Because Aqua refuses to learn any new moves right now. Don't know why. Okay. And down goes the Grunt. Got him. Uh, gave me was a taste of defeat. And how's it taste? Yeah, this definitely feels like the way to go. Damn it! If it's so hard to get here. You should be proud of yourself. And now I'll send you packing with only that happy thought. Okay, this is the way to go. We're turning back right this instant. <laughs> We're turning back right this instant. Three games I don't have just kind of look like dog shit. I can't find a good one. 
It is kind of hard to find any good free games. I mean, most of the free games have in uh, purchases to, you know, get their income going. Like, you know, most gacha games. But honestly, there are a few good ones out there, but a lot of them, well, you can definitely tell that the free price tag isn't there without reason. But then you have good games like DDLC, which is free. So, you know. You know. Okay, let's finish off this grunt and then head back. Again, because this is definitely the right way. There's so many stairs leading up, and this grunt is talking about how we should be proud we've gotten this far. So this definitely leads to the summit, which is where our destination is, which means we should go everywhere else first. Because I feel like once we win at the summit, all the other grunts will disappear, if there are any others, and I don't want the other grunts to disappear. Oh! Hey, someone finally used Fake Out again! Been far too long since I've seen that move. At least one person knows how to deal some amount of damage to me. Okay, let's change our team around a bit again, because Aqua is slowly but surely running out of PP. Pee -pee. Uh, how dare you! That's how you spawned my generosity? Nah. Generosity? I wouldn't call it that. Okay. Let's let Ugly Bee do some stuff. Should be decent. Okay, let's go. So there's some stuff to explore outside, and there's one more cave we need to explore before we can go up to the summit. Let's see what those are all about. Let's check the outside first, because why not? Item? No, no item. But there's definitely an item down there, let's face it. Big Mushroom, nice. Found one good free game, it was just a chill game. In the background, but I was worried, it looked like a crypto miner. So basically, something like a clicker game, like Cookie Clicker for example, is what I'm guessing. Ah, those clicker games. What are the reviews? Or, or like actual cryptocurrency. Like actual cryptocurrency. And behold, the first review mentioned this is a crypto miner. Okay! So it actually is. Actual cryptocurrency. Got it. Got it. Understood. Well, I guess that's their way of earning money, huh? Let's see, what's down here? Come on, good stuff, good stuff. Give me good stuff. Explodes your PC. Mm. But again, they gotta earn their cash somehow. Say, listen, do you realize you're breaking, uh, you're breaking hearts by being successful? It's your fault that Team Galactic members are in so much pain. Well, you kind of brought this upon yourself. I'm very sorry for slaughtering all your teams, but you should just avoid me. If you know I'm such a powerful trainer, why even try to fight me? Especially if you have a worm pull this late in the game. <laughs> With this late in the game and you still have a worm pull. At this level, yeah, at this level it should have already been fully evolved. And yet you haven't evolved it even once. What is wrong with you? Why do you even try? <sighs> yeah, again, this is gonna hurt you. I'm very sorry. A butterfly. Okay, okay. So why is your Wurmple not evolved? You, you clearly know how to evolve Pokemon, but you just chose not to evolve that one Wurmple. For no reason whatsoever. And I'm guessing the final one is gonna be... The in-between stage, right? I'm guessing that's what this is about. This is your team. Right? Yep, Silcoon it is. Got it. Well, good thing I went back, by the way, because again, if I reached the summit, I'm sure I would have been unable to fight this trainer. In which case, I guess her team would have survived. I'm sorry for slaughtering all your beloved Pokémon, but... Yeah, kind of your fault. Also 420 XP. Nice. See, you left me brokenhearted too. 
Yeah, I felt the same way when I lost my team. It 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 does hurt quite a bit, I have to admit. Yeah, no, let's go like this again. What else is in here? Whoa. Why are there so many grunts everywhere? This are, these are two completely separate paths. Can't believe you chased me here. Okay, let's see how tough you are. I didn't chase you anywhere. I'm just fighting every galactic grunt right now. You're just one of many right now, buddy. A crow gun. Okay, this is gonna be an incredibly, incredibly easy one-shot considering it's squad weak to psychic. So, just psychic. Ah, sucker punch, okay, okay. Dealing at least a little bit of damage to me. Gotta respect it, gotta respect it. And that's about all you could do. Okay, what's your second mod? Let's see it. Stunky. Okay. This, I don't have anything super effective for, but Flash Cannon should probably still be enough to one-shot. Right? Yes. Okay. And another Crow Gunk. I don't know why I even bother fighting these dudes. I mean, they don't give a lot of experience, but we... Then again, we do know every little bit of XP can matter in the end. In the end, every little bit of XP matters. Otherwise, you might get taken out sooner or later. Plus, extra money. I mean, I just spend a lot of money on repels and balls, so... Nice way to make some back. Where do you get that power? It's the power of friendship. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using Rock Smash, I'm just looking for hidden items. And this feels like a spot, but there's nothing. Okay, I can Rock Climb. There has to be something back here. There are so many rocks to break through, there has to be something good. Wait. Okay, that's a shortcut. That's a shortcut, okay, got it. Okay. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna block me and I can't progress, right? Hopelessly lost. Please don't pay attention to a lowly ground without any Pokemon. I'm hopelessly lost. Please don't pay attention. Okay, so I can't get there yet. Got it. So all the grunts here were just like a fake trail. Got it. Good to know. The game... Looks pretty cool, like a free game that you can just vibe in a small bedroom. Something that I would make, but then it turns out to abuse your PC. But after going to the Twitter page and seeing how many people call it a Bitcoin miner, I won't take my chance. Yeah. Definitely understandable. Kind of sad that they ruined it like that, but... Hey, if that's how they want to make their money, then... If that's how they want to make money, then I guess that's their choice in the end, huh? Ah... <sighs> Still, they could have could at least be upfront about it. Hey, by the way, by installing this game, you agreed to let us use your PC to mine some cryptocurrency. If they were upfront about it, maybe people would like, yeah, I have enough processing power to let you do that. Are we at the summit now? We're here. The first fight on the summit is gonna go to you, Debbie. Just to prove that you are the most skilled player you have, the most skilled Pokemon, the MVP. Most valuable Pokemon, our personal MVP, Debbie, you're gonna do this. <clears throat> Something huge is going to happen, I think. Maybe, right? Don't meddle around, of course you're going to, are you? Aren't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take you to, onto the ground. Okay, so team up. So this should be easy for you, Debbie. Because you have support of some by someone else. You're supported by someone else. There's no way you can fail this. Okay. So 
So here's how we're gonna do it. Debbie, you're gonna air cutter. And Ugly B is gonna flamethrower this donkey. That means your air cutter will likely hit a single target, thus won't have to suffer from split damage and will likely one shot. Also, Ugly B landed a crit, wishing to be praised. Let's see if you can do it too, Debbie. Let's see if you can do it too. Air cutter, here we go. Nice. No crit necessary. Okay, let's see the second pair of Pokemon. Also, Nick Chan leveled up. Very nice. A Glammeow, which might fake out, it might fake out. And a Krogunk, which might sucker punch. So I think we're gonna go for the same strategy. Air Carter is gonna be super effective against Krogunk, and if we manage to take out the Glammeow, then both should be one-shottable. Okay, it's not they're not using Sucker Punch or Fake Out. Well, big mistake on their part. <laughs> Should have really gone for it. If we're being honest here. Okay, now air cutter and win this fight. Who needs crits when you're all muscle? Yes, the most muscular butterfly. Actually, no, you landed a crit on the second one. You took the first one. You took out a fully evolved Pokemon without a crit, just to prove that you could, and then you took out an unevolved Pokemon with a crit, just to brag about it. <laughs> just disrespect. The disrespect is strong. <laughs> and I appreciate you for that. <laughs> the toughest of all the grunts, that was me. Nah, we fought someone previously who was a lot tougher. Ah, I let some little kid beat me. Well, that was just pathetic. We're just gonna let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna pulverize us. But this one's not for you, Debbie. I'm gonna send Immortal out next. Okay, let's go. Hello! Where's Saturn? He's the only one missing. Kinda busy? Sometimes the most satisfying thing to do is kicking them when they're down, exactly. Exactly, just hit them with as much disrespect as possible. A good critting when there's no need, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> now all will end, and everything will begin. With this red chain, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Dialga, the mythical Pokémon, the master of time. Hey, I just smashed a fruit, fruit fly with my hands. Nice. <laughs> Got it. Love how dopey they look with their cute art style. Yeah, the chibi art style makes them look so adorable. Then it cuts to hyper-realism during the fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fights are definitely a lot more intense. Rainbows! <clears throat> this will bring about the destruction of all things. With everything gone, there will be no fighting and no strife. You know, he has a point. With everything gone, there will be no fighting and no strife, because there will be no... no everything. <laughs> that is in fact true. Si that is true. I cannot deny that. <clears throat> can you feel time distorting? Only I can choose to stop it. So that that's what it looks like when time's distorting. We got some RGB lights. <laughs> That's the mythical Pokémon that created Sinnoh, the Yaga, the ancient deity of time. Okay. This world cannot be modeled into my, the ultimate world I seek. It's far easier to create an entirely new world than to change this one. A new world in which I am the ruler of all things. I shall become a deity. Okay. Gold Experience Requiem, yes! He has the power of Gold Experience Re Requiem. We're fucked. <laughs> but hey, you know, if if Diavolo dies in this timeline, it's canon, right? It's canon to Jojo. <laughs> uh, <and laughs> Isn't that a thing? 
you can make anything you want, as long as you can make any kind of content you want, as long as Diavolo dies somewhere within whatever you created, it's canon to JoJo. <laughs> There's no need to rush. I can understand you want to battle our boss real bad. But you'll have to go through me first. After all, you've made me look bad more times than I care to remember. I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. Hold on one second. Don't you start the party without me. Huh. Well, if it isn't the little boy who ran off crying it like a cutie. Did you get any tougher since then? We'll beat you two on two. All right, Barry, don't disappoint me now. I'm gonna have to do all the work, I know, but please at least try to put in some effort. Dual Bronzor. Please tell me they have heat proof and not levitate. The, the previous bronzor, bronzor I fought had heat proof, so please tell me these have heat proof as well, please. Damn it, they have levitate. At least one of them. Why is this? Why is the game like this? Why do you have to screw me over like this? Light screen reflect turn one. Okay, good strategy. Good strategy. You know what? Just for the sake of it, I'm. No, I'm not gonna try hitting the other one. It's a stupid idea. Yeah, I'm gonna send an ugly B again. Ugly Bee has both a special and a physical move that would be super effective, so... This might be the best opportunity, if we're being honest. Payback. I didn't even do anything this turn. You really think that's gonna hurt? Also, thanks for confusing Barry. Okay, Barry is good for one thing, he can eat up enemy attacks. Okay, let's go. Let's go for Flamethrower, let's try that one. Because we know this one doesn't have Heatproof, definitely. For the other one, we don't quite know if it has if it has Heatproof or Levitate, but this one we know doesn't have it. Now, this would have killed if they didn't set up the, you know, the screens, but honestly, who cares at this point? Fuel Confusion? Okay, okay, not, not a good thing, definitely not a good thing. But we can, tank, we can take out one of the two Bronze, or maybe Barry's gonna do it. Never mind, he's attacking the other one. You know what, I'm gonna trust Barry to go for Bite. I know that's gonna be a bad idea, but I trust him to go for Bite. Damn it. Well, I trust him to go for Bite on the left one. Please go for the left one. Please attack left. Barry? Barry, you're gonna attack the left one, right? You're gonna attack the left one. You're gonna take out the left one. Thank you, Barry. You do have some resemblance of some semblance of a brain. Thank you. Skunk tank. Oh, mirror match. I see. Interesting. Interesting. Now I'm gonna flamethrower the bronze or again. Hopefully, we'll break through. Ugly bee. Can you do it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Both bronze or are down. Don't know what Mars' next Pokemon is? Maybe I shouldn't have taken out the Bronzors because, you know... They could have stronger ones coming out now, possibly. And that's risky. Ooh, Body Slam, nice. Getting some chip damage in. Reflect War Off and Light Screen War Off. Perfect, perfect. Speaking of Purr, there's a Purr Ugly. That's not so perfect. Purr Ugly is pretty tanky, so... I think I'm gonna Toxic into um, Venoshock. That always works. Toxic Venoshock always works. Okay. Dig. That's going for me. That's going for me because super effective. We're not gonna Toxic Venoshock. We're gonna switch out now. Really wanted to Toxic Vanishok, but I don't want to get hit by a super effective move. Since, especially since I know that's her ace. I could switch into Dev 
Debbie to avoid that, but then I'm gonna get flamethrowered, so that's not good either. Our, I think Aqua is gonna be our best choice here. Okay. Let's go, Aqua. Tank the dig. Easy. And we're gonna get poisoned. Ooh, nice, nice. Get the paralysis. That's what that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. One tail glow. One tail glow is all I need. One tail glow is all I need to get off. I just need one single tail glow. Okay, Aqua. Come on. Don't disappoint me. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Thanks for attacking the Munchlax. Skunk Tank is, Skunk Tank is paralyzed. Okay. I'm gonna tank, take out Skunk Tank because it might have Venishock. And since it poisoned us, I don't want to run the risk of getting Venishocked right now. Problem is, Paragli can deal a lot of damage. And I am fully aware of that fact. Uh, but still, the Vanishock risk is too great. Even if it's paralyzed, I can't. I can't take the chance of getting Vanishocked. So down it goes. Please, yes, thank you. Thank you for going for Munchlax. I appreciate that. Please take Barry as much as you want. Okay, what's your final Pokemon? Golbat, okay. Now Golbat shouldn't have any uh, strong moves against me. So since I know Golbat doesn't have re any really strong moves, I think it's better to go for Paragli. Actually, no, 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 I know, I know something. It has Giga Drain, doesn't it? It has Giga Drain, doesn't it? I remember that from watching Jaden's Nuzlocke of um, Pokemon Platinum. This Golbat has Giga Drain. I'm not gonna leave Aqua in for this. Okay. Here we go. Uh, how? Why did you send in Debbie against a flying type? Yeah, I know this probably wasn't the best option, but it's not gonna use a flying type move. It's gonna use Giga Drain, exactly. And Debbie is the one who can tank Giga Drain the easiest out of all of my team. Although now we're running into the problem that, well, we don't really have anything good against these opponents, so we're gonna have to double switch, but this was the most effective way for us to avoid uh, receiving massive Giga Drain damage. And I think now we're just gonna switch into Nuke Chan, who should easily be able to Psychic kill them, so there we have it. This fight is already won. Don't set up now. We're on their final Pokemon, you don't need to set up at this point. Barry, come on. You're really gonna try to set up against their final Pokemon? Yeah! See that, Barry? How, di how did that setup work out for you? Not at all, right? <laughs> you died in one turn. I shouldn't laugh, it's really a bit mean. Here comes his Infernape. Okay, we're gonna take out the higher level one. Because we're that nice. There we go. But I doubt your, your Infernape can do anything here. I highly doubt it, but you're welcome to try. Yeah, not even half. 
Sorry, buddy, but you're kind of really not the best. <clears throat> okay, but we made it through this surprisingly well. We did kind of get into some slightly tricky spots, but we got out of it fine, and that's what matters in the end. Please tell me we can get healed here and don't need to run back to the uh, previous Pokemon Center. Sheesh, I should have done the fighting by myself. <laughs> You've toughened up, but you're no match for our boss. Oh, I think I am a match. More than a match. <laughs> My Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher. But you know, that's it for us. We've hit the wall. Kochan, I'll help you with this. Thanks, Barry. I needed that. Hey, Kochan, This is it. It's your show now. It was always my show. I mean, it's my channel. <laughs> Can I save? Oh, Dialga, this is... Um... Fantastic. Beautiful. It's the creation of a new galaxy, my new world. What? Hello, Lake Guardians! You shouldn't have allowed me to set them free. I feel like you really shouldn't have allowed me to set them free. Didn't really work out for you in the end, did it? Breaking the chain? Yup, now it's no longer under your control. And now I'm gonna catch it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Appreciate it. Bye. The red chain, it crumbled away to nothing, but why? Why would Mesprit, the Pokemon of Lake Verity, appear by your side? But never mind that, it's all destroyed. My galaxy is gone, I won't allow this. I'll capture those three again and craft another red chain. But before I even think about that, I'm going to have to completely crush you. You can try. You can most certainly try. But you don't look too intimidating right now, buddy. I don't get to save, okay? Here we go. You don't even have a full team. Haunch Grove. Okay. I'm gonna try body slamming it. Immortal, avo immortal can dodge! This snail can dodge your attacks. You j a snail just dodged your attack. How does that feel? How does that feel, huh? Body slam again. You never know, we might get the paralysis. That was a crit. Okay, that really did a lot of damage, but if it was a crit, that explains it. Okay. It's gonna attack us again, but I'm gonna recover. Defog? Oh, because I dodged you. You're upset. <laughs> Upsetty spaghetti that I dodged you. Oh well. What are you gonna do about it, huh? You lowered my evasiveness by one stat rank, but you think that's gonna help you? Because, let me tell you, it's not. You landed another crit, didn't you? I know Night Slash has a high crit rate, but two crits in a row, are you kidding me? Okay, sure, why not? Why not? Ugly be leveled up, that's nice. What's next? Gyarados. Okay. The good thing is, it can't use any water type moves against us. They'll only power us up. Still, I'm gonna recover right now, just in case. Because Crunch, yep. That is kind of threatening. <clears throat> okay, let's recover. Okay, so the thing is, it lowered our physical attack, so this is gonna be a slow fight. But we should still be able to deal slow damage, and there we go, special attack up. 
From now on, we're gonna start using more special attacks. But since our special attacks are not very effective against... Actually, no, never mind. Even if it's not very effective, I still think it's gonna do more damage than Body Slam. Because at least we get Stab on it, too. So let's see if this deals more damage. Flinch or Freeze? It was about time. I never got frozen by Ice Fang up until now. It had to happen eventually. It had to happen eventually. Okay. Come on. You can thaw out. I believe in you. Come on, Immortal. Immortal! At this point, there's a high probability I'm gonna get... If I get crit by Crunch, I'm gonna go down. I should really switch out. I should really switch out right now. I Why did I switch into a Psychic type? Never mind, it's fine. Nuke-chan can tank it. Nuke-chan is tanky. She can tank a Crunch easy. Plus, he's gonna Ice Fang anyway, so... Are you kidding me right now? Sorry about how I Hey, I'm lucky I didn't get frozen by Ice Fang up until now. Hey, here's two, fr two frozen Pokemon in a row. Have fun with that one. Now you're gonna crunch, right? No, Earth... I was not aware you had access to Earthquake. That is very not good. I thought for sure you would have crunched. You know what? Fine, fine. Aqua it is. Aqua can resist Ice Fang and Waterfall. Earthquake is neutral damage, crunch too. So we can manage. Yes, okay. We'll buff up. We'll just buff up. Okay, let's go. Acid armor. We just dodged an Earthquake. How do you do that? I don't know, but it worked. Also Charm. Okay, now you're gonna deal one-fourth of the damage you were dealing before. So this really shouldn't do much. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. This is all the buffs we need. Now we Tail Glow. Now we Tail Glow. Now we just Tail Glow and now we Sweep. Although I still, I'm still not too sure about the rest of his team, they might be tough. So I might as well get in one more Acid Armor as well. Just to play it safe, you know? Getting up two Acid Armors can't really hurt. In a Nuzlocke, it's, al it's always best to play it safe in a Nuzlocke, isn't it? I think you're, I think you're gonna agree with me on that. Okay, now another Tail Glow. Aqua, I really like how easily... We can set you up to just sweep a team. Okay, let's go. Bubble Beam. Not very effective, but it's there, but plus six special attack. This should still take it down. Yes. <laughs> okay, Cyrus, what's that? what else you got? You should know that at this point there's no way for you to win. Weavile is pretty quick, so it mi you might get some damage in against Aqua, but not a lot. Dig. I should have... You know, I could have gotten in a free acid armor here if I timed stuff correctly, but that didn't work out. Okay, now take it down. Okay, final Pokemon. Aqua leveled up, very nice. Debbie leveled up, also very nice, and Immortal. I admit that you have pushed me to the to this extreme. You have a Crobat! And you can only get that if you have enough friendship with your Pokémon. So what is that about compassion and everything being completely useless? Oh, it's fast. Of course it's quick, it's a Crobat. Crobat is amazing. <laughs> of course it's amazing. I would know I had one. 
Okay. Entire team on level 52. <clears throat> I won't accept this. The power spoken of in mythology. <clears throat> I didn't just make it obey me, I made it my own. Yeah, not for very long, though. What is truly the ultimate to you? What do you consider perfection? <clears throat> the most important thing, what shines the brightest. Telling you is meaningless, but I will not give up. I will become a deity one day, and I will make the ultimate mine. You will make the ultimate mine? <laughs> ah, yes. I like mining, too. Oh, there you are. I was wondering why I wasn't able to do anything. <clears throat> Diago. The monster of time, it's impossible to tell if it is enraged or sand. But to me, Diaga appears to be waiting for you, Kochan. Seems to be challenging you to a test. Go on, Kochan. Face up to Dialga, listen to its heart, understand its thoughts. Dialga is out of control after being dragged out by the red chain and forced to use its power. Dialga seems to be trusting you to stop it. Coach and I just ran into Barry. He said that he believed in you, he said that you could get the job done, I think so too. You've got to help that Pokemon, it's suffering from being dragged out by Team Galactic. Hey, 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 hey! But my team, I need to heal! You're seriously not allowing me to heal? Okay, fine, I'll do it myself. Not like I want to, but I really don't have a choice here. I can't run to a legendary Pokemon without having my team healed. Now can I? Okay. Come on. Use up some of the healing items I would never use otherwise. Okay, that should be enough. Do I have any... Antidote Power Heal? I have two full heals, but do I have anything specifically for freeze? Ice Heal, I have one. Nuke Chan should be able to tank quite a few hits. Immortal 2 and I only really need Immortal to come out as a tank. So, okay. Debbie, you're gonna go out front. Debbie, you're the first Pokemon I want to send in against this. I... You just need to survive. One turn and then I'm gonna switch you out. If you can survive one turn, I'm gonna switch you out into, for a more tanky Pokemon. I just need you to survive a single turn. Can I trust you to do that for me? I hope so. Okay. Whoa! I like the glitchy background. I like glitchy effects in games, I really do. Something about them always seems amazing. Pressure, okay. No, you nodded in understanding. Okay, I hope that means you can survive one turn. You just need to get off a single stun spore. You're five levels higher, please. That's all I'm asking. Ancient power, no. Tank one hit. One hit. One hit is all I need you to tank. <sighs> Debbie. Debbie. I mean, we haven't had a death in a long time, but why did it have to be you? Why did it have to have ancient power? Damn it, now I'm gonna need Immortal to body slam in hopes of getting it done. And Immortal is still frozen. Please just thaw out on your own.
Debbie, why did you have to go like this? I told you to just survive one attack, that's all I needed from you. Okay. Paralysis? Oh my god, yes, turn one paralysis. At least Immortal can do stuff. See, Debbie, this is all you had to do. You all just had to paralyze it. Now Immortal had to do the job for you. But why did you have to go down? Out of all the Pokemon it could have been. It's still gonna outspeed. No, it doesn't outspeed now. Okay. We still need to weaken we still need to weaken it though, so. Let's try our best to do this somehow. Earth power should be super effective, so we're not gonna do it. We're gonna go for water pulse instead. <clears throat> Slash, we can tank that. Yes. It is sad. I mean, you weren't the strongest Pokemon. You weren't the strongest Pokemon, I have to admit. But your moveset was very good at co covering for us. And now that's... Now that's gone. Yeah, Tort... Tort... I think Tort... Yeah, no, Tord was in our previous team, if I'm not mistaken. The team that completely perished. So, yeah. Tord very much bit the bullet. Very sad. <laughs> but, yeah, you both died. Okay, a little bit more chip damage. Come on. We're below half. Nice going, Immortal. Keep it up, keep it up. Flash Cannon. That's not gonna be very effective, right? Yes, okay. Now, Immortal, it's time to recover. <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a stalling fight because we need to get it as low as possible. And Immortal is kind of Immortal, unlike you, Debbie, which you have proven. It has to rest for it has to rest for one turn after this, right? It can't use uh, another move right now, correct? I think I hope. Yes, it, okay, okay. At least it had to recharge. Okay, but that move that's a yikes. Okay. Okay, I think we're going to go for one more. One more, okay? Let's go one more, and then we'll try catching it. One more Water Pulse. Come on, Immortal. Don't crit or confuse now. Okay. We couldn't really get it down in the red, but I think this is good enough. This is as good as it's gonna get. Now we are gonna recover now that I know how devastating Raw of Time is gonna be if it hits again. I don't wanna risk anything, so... We need to make sure we are pretty high on health. Okay. Let's see if we can catch it. We could use a Master Ball, but I don't really feel like doing that right now. Mashing A. Tried and true strategy, isn't it? Ooh. Well. Mashing B, let's try mashing B. Maybe mashing B, maybe B is the lucky button. B is the lucky button, let's go! <laughs> okay, we did kind of have to suffer a very sad loss. <sighs> but I knew you were frail. I knew it was inevitable that at some point we would have a lapse in judgment. Of course it had to be a... Hey, Debbie, at the very least, at the very least, you died to a legendary. You ca- despite only being a beautifly, and let's face it, no one really appreciates the basic bug type evolution lines, despite being only a beautifly, you managed to carry us so- you managed to help us in so many situations, and only died once we encountered a legendary. I think that should still count for something, right? That should definitely count for something. Power to control time. It appears in the Sinner region lives as an ancient deity. <clears throat> okay, now we need to give it a name. 
Give it a name. What are we gonna call you? Dialga. The master of time. Whew. It's a name for a legendary, so it has to be a good one. Has to be a good one. Hmm. Trying to think. Trying to think of a good name for that. Oh, well, then again, it it killed it killed it killed Debbie. So how can it be a good name? Hmm. 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 You know what? Never mind. I just figured out something. I just thought of something. It controls time. It controls time. Of course, I'm gonna call it Dio. It's 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 a god, and it has power to manipulate time. And it starts with D, so naturally I'm gonna call it Dio. Also Dio. I know we already have a Steel type, but since Debbie is already dead, and I don't want to backtrack right now just to get a uh, just to change stuff around my team. Dio will replace Debbie. Dio probably, feels, Dio probably feels great right about now. I killed Debbie and took his place. Ha <laughs> ha. That is, that is the might of Dio. <clears throat> Coach Han, I don't know how you... You were magnificent. Truly, you were incredible. I've lived for 60 years, but I've never been thrilled like this. Since the last time the professor did a lot of research, he became very worried about you, Coach Han. So, he came out to a place as terrible as this. Kajan, I'm glad to see you're safe. Let's leave this place already. No one has the right to take away anyone's future or anyone's world. Yeah. So? Actually, I think I have access to the PC boxes from here, don't I? Because I definitely need to do something. Debbie, where did you get put? Of course you got put into the standard box. Sadly, that is not accurate. You have to go over here now. Also, Dio, as much as I like you, you shouldn't be out front right now. But I'm gonna check you real quick. So you have to fence up. Ooh, I like that. I like defense up. So, ancient power slash... Flash cannon and roar of time. That was definitely dangerous. Okay. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna send Ugly B out front again. Just because Dio is kind of paralyzed right now. Actually, I'm gonna put you even further back just in case we're gonna encounter a 2v2 fight. In which case, yeah, the risk's just too great. Hojan, I'll be looking forward to seeing your Pokédex. Go places you've never visited before. That way you should encounter Pokémon you haven't yet seen. You know, that Pokémon really was extraordinary, wasn't it? Wasn't really the Pokémon the great of the Sinnoh region? Okay, where am I supposed to go now? Sunny Shore. All the way over there. Okay, got it. I think it's the fastest way to go from up here, from Veilstone, or from Pastoria. I think going from Veilstone is quicker. But I can't fly from here? Why can I not fly use fly? I'm at the top of a mountain. I honestly think I should be allowed to use fly here. I mean, it makes sense for me to use fly here, doesn't it? Adamant Orb, nice. Gotta yoink that. Let's, but let's try this again, shall we? Why can I not fly from the top of a mountain? If I were still in the caves, it would make sense. But I am on top, at the very top of the mountain, at the peak. And for some reason, I can't fly. 
Fine, I'll use an escape rope. Boost the power of dragon and steel type moves, yes. Dio, take your adamant orb. And now I shall... There it is. Escape rope out of here. Okay. Hello, and welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a great day. We just caught the legendary Pokemon Dialga, which controls time. So we named it Dio, fittingly enough, and it killed Debbie, our number one biggest JoJo fan. Which is kind of another reason why I felt like I had to honor, honor Debbie by naming the new Pokemon after a JoJo reference. I don't know why you can't fly either. Honestly, in I feel like in any other game it allows you to fly when you're not inside a cave or building. So when you're on a mountain top, it allows you to fly. Like I remember playing Heart Gold, and I was able to fly from t the top of Mount Silver if I'm not mistaken. So why not allow? F I really shouldn't care, should I? In any case, we have Dio now, so. Even though Debbie had to die, because how was I supposed to know that Dialga had access to ancient power? And how was I supposed to know? You know, the only reason Debbie was even out was because that way Debbie could use Spore to paralyze Dialga, turn one. But what happened instead was Dialga outsped Debbie and ancient power one shot him. And I still can't believe how horribly that went. Just, that went about as poorly as it could have. I mean, we lost no one else, so I guess that's good, but still. All legendaries have access to ancient power. Yeah, but the fact that it had ancient power at the, at the point where we, where we caught it. The fact that it just so happened to have a super effective move against Debbie, a quad super effective move against Debbie. That just hurt. Well then again, Debbie was always our, always our most frail Pokemon on the team, let's face it. Debbie was always our most frail Pokemon, we should have expected something to happen eventually. We actually got lucky before, because Debbie at some point dodged a rock slide, which probably would have one shot him too. So since we got lucky enough to avoid the rock slide, I'm guessing that was basically payback. Hey, remember that time you dodged rock slide? Well, prepare to get one shot by a rock type move now. <laughs> oh well. But now we have Dio, and Dio currently is the lowest level on the team, so... I guess now that Dio is healed, he he should go back out front. Because we need to grind up Dio's level. <laughs> really? I came here just for an item and it's... It's Roar? That's not even a good TM. Why'd I even come up here? Okay, I just know I need to go somewhere this way to get to Sunny Shore. Oh, let me guess, I'm gonna have to surf. Would make sense, at least. I think. I think so, yeah. Well, I don't really care for encounters right now. I'll fight any trainers I see, but that's about it. So I will use the repels. I mean, I bought a whole bunch of repels, so I might as well use them, right? That wasn't quite where I expected this to go. Well, anyway, there's an item over here I can get, so... I thought I would ha have to surf over there, but I guess that's not the case. Well, at least I only used the Super Repel. And we found some protein! You think Dio would like some protein? <laughs> also, we can now get into this house, which we couldn't do before. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, that coin toss up is why we ended up in this musty old stinky suite. Musty old stinky, yeah, that's what you call it, huh? The reservations were full up, but they managed to get us in here. We're finally alone, the two of us, if you'd leave, that is. This is something we don't need anymore. Will you take it? Thank you. I will not be using that because I know I have terrible luck. You 
you threw out a max revive. And you think this is cr this is a bad place to be as well. Okay. Yeah, definitely got some rich individuals. Okay, that definitely looks like there's a hidden item over here. I'm not the only one who sees that, right? This just screams hidden item. Knew it. Oh, moving on. Back to 213. We're not gonna be on 213 for long. And... Back to Valor Lakefront. There's another item down here. Where, how do I get that? Okay, rock climb from all the way over here. Kinda have to go a bit out of my way to get that item, so that better be good. Something good. A good TM, but not Roar, because Roar is really not that good of a TM. Okay. What is it? What have we got? Dream Eater. Not exactly what I what I would call a good TM either. It's a TM alright, but that's about it. Come on. Uh, all this effort just for Dream Eater. Plus, you know, normally I wouldn't complain because Camera Angle is annoying yeah with all the buildings I know, right? <sighs> but yeah, you can't even use TMs infinitely in this game. So I went all I went out of my way to grab one single TM for Dream Eater, which is a move that I'm not sure I'm ever gonna be using. No hidden item? Okay. I think I was already there probably. 222. Did I ever get an encounter here? I did not, in fact, get an encounter on 222. Okay, when it comes to an encounter, I'm gonna send the mortal pack out because I'm sure Dio would just one-shot everything. Well, let's see what we can get. Don't we already have Wingull? I think we have Wingull already, in which case this would be considered Dupes Claws. Let's see if we have it already. We do in fact have it already. No hidden item. Hidden item. A full restore. Nice, nice. Something here? No, nothing here. Ooh, berries! We found berries! You know I want those! I know this isn't very entertaining. I know watching me harvest berries is like the least entertaining thing in these streams. But come on! They're very useful! For stickers! Not like I ever used them since losing Suji. So she was the only one who had the comfort of getting stickers on her ball. But that was about it. After Suji died, no one else got that lux luxury. New berries. Okay, definitely, if we have new berries, we definitely have to plant them immediately. Berries are fun. It is kind of tedious since you can't plant, like, multiple at once. You have to go one by one to plant them. Which I guess is somewhat annoying. Yeah, let's plant those grapefruit berries as well. Give them some liquid. And I know it always waters two of them, but I don't trust that. I don't trust that. So I still go separately. Okay, let's go. Now let's try again to see if we can get an encounter. Also, let's save again. Don't forget to save regularly because this game. Crashed on me exactly once, but that's an experience I'm never gonna forget. Uh. <laughs> well, this is uh, interesting. Sorry, but this still counts as Dupes Claws, even if you are um, the other form. <laughs> Sorry, still Dupes Claws, uh, so we're gonna be running here.
Oh wow. Do they reset to small if you don't pick them? I am actually not sure. But I don't think they reset. I think if you don't, they're gonna stay around until you pick them. I think. If I'm not mistaken. Because I encountered some berries earlier in the stream, which I haven't harvested, uh, which I've planted a while ago. So, I think they stick around. I'm gonna try one more. If it's not a new encounter, we'll just start moving on. Hello? There we go. Welp, um, sorry, but Tord is already dead, so... Yeah, Tord died a while ago. Sorry to say. Ha! You boosted me! You know what, since you boosted me... Never mind, I was gonna attack now, but... <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna say we're not getting an encounter here right now. Um, Dio, you're lo the lowest level on the team. The only one who isn't level 52 is Dio. So it's time to grind. <clears throat> I'm quite bored. Care to break the monotony? I care to break the monotony as long as you give me money. Urge boy Trey. Move your Luxio. Hated when waiting uh, events expire. Yeah, it's really annoying because, hey, guess what? You have to wait until you can do this. But if you wait just a little bit too long, then you can't do it anymore. That's horrible. Do not like, very much do not like. Flash cannon is not very effective. Okay, I wasn't actually aware that flash cannon wouldn't be very effective. I'm gonna roar off time. I know it's overkill, but why not? <laughs> Honestly. It's not like we have to worry about recharging if we just one-shot. See? Easy. First first win for Dio. The monotony was broken, but at what cost? At the exact cost of 7,052 Poké Dollars. Got a few fishermen down here. Got quite a few fishermen down here. Okay. If I stay at the water surface for too long, I begin to forget what I was doing in the first place. Fishing? <laughs> but understandable, I guess. Okay, three Pokemon. What do you got? Gyarados. Well, good thing we have a super effective move. Dio is gonna kill you with the same move that he used to kill Debbie. Yeah, like your Intimidate is gonna uh, change anything about that. Now, I know some people might be thinking... Huh? You're using a Legendary in your Nuzlocke? You're using Mythicals in your Nuzlocke? Doesn't that make it way too easy? And to that I say... Go easy on me. Please. I think I'm doing just fine considering this is my first full real attempt at a Nuzlocke. So for a, for a first real... For a first real attempt, I feel like I should be allowed to access all the options I get. If I do another Nuzlocke, I might limit myself to not use any legendaries. I could very well do that. But for a first Nuzlocke, I feel like uh, using the legendaries I can find is fine. Again though, if I do another one, I'm probably gonna change that a bit. Crit, okay. Because yeah, I did notice that Nuke-chan, Aqua and... Now Dio are kind of strong. Oh wow. Never mind. Dio can tank hits, but apparently doesn't know how to deal damage. Unless facing Deb unless he's facing Debbie. Rain stopped. And final one, another Gyarados? No. That's sad. Alright, finish it off with Raw of Time. A nice finisher. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Ugly B leveled up. And once... Again, why would I learn Explosion? In a Nuzlocke. <laughs> Sorry, Cole. I don't know how, but I lost. Yeah, your team wasn't really the best. 
I mean, you had two Gyarados, which, not too bad, I guess. I'm in the middle of fishing, but okay, I'll be happy to sink you. You sure you're gonna sink me? I'd love to see you try. Brett? With your magic card? Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see you try to handle me with, ma me with magic card. Mm. Flash cannon is not very effective. Is it still gonna one-shot? Let's see. Mm. Boom. Yup, still gonna one-shot. But Slash has to go. Like, we saw how little damage Slash did against Gyarados. Now, I know we've gotten intimidated twice, so our attack was basically halved. But even considering our attack was half, that still did barely any damage. And that's mainly because Dio's a special attacker, not a physical attacker. Finian! Uh, I'm just gonna flash cannon again. I mean, that works quite well, so... Uh, a little bit over half, okay. Aqua Ring. Setup is a good strategy, in theory, but... If you know you can't survive two hits, then it's not worth it. It really isn't worth it. There's no way that would ever be worth it. See? Down you go. Okay, what's your last one? A Phoebus. So just as useless as Magikarp, I see. In that case, just like Magikarp, this might also be a one-shot. Yup. Nice. Sorry, Brad, you lost. Wow! There's a bunch of fishermen here. Next one. I'm getting bored of fishing. Let's have a quick battle. Yeah, that's gonna be a quick one. If you only have one Pokemon, I can make it extra quick. No! You have the most Pokemon out of all the fishermen here. Oh, but it's just Magikarp. That would explain why it's gonna be a quick battle. <laughs> Okay, let's go and flash cannon again. Yeah, yeah, I know, not very effective and all that. <clears throat> Down goes the first Magikarp. I'm guessing he has at least one Gyarados on his team. We're at the point where they should have at least one Gyarados. No, they're actually switching it up. Good on Azumarill and Waylord, not Finian. Yeah, definitely not Finian. I agree. I fully agree. You know what? Let's slash. Otherwise, I'm gonna run out of PP way too quick and... Whoa, Slash actually one-shot. You know what? Maybe your Slash can be good. Maybe Slash can be a good move. Gyarados. There it is. Now it's not gonna be good because of Intimidate. So we're gonna Ancient Power. Just like that. And judging by what happened previously, it's just gonna two-shot. Yeah. Oh, but we get the Omni Boost. Uh, I almost feel sorry for your final Pokemon now. We actually got the Omni Boost. Not like it matters at all, because another Ancient Power would have killed anyway. And Draw of Time is gonna kill the final Mon, whatever, whatever we do, so... Eh. But hey. Omni Boost into Crit. Yikes. That's a yikes. Memento. Again! That's another move. Why would I learn that in a Nuzlocke? First Ugly B wants to learn Explosion, now Immortal wants to learn Memento? Why do you want to learn moves that kill you? This doesn't make sense. My team is just... Oh my god. I realize what's happening. My entire team is sad that we lost Debbie. They're like, we lost Debbie, what's the point in living anymore? Just kill me. And that's why they're learning moves like Explosion and Memento now. But I'm not gonna let them pass on like that. Not on my watch. I've been done in! Next! Hi, Traveler. How would you like to battle? Uh, give me one strong Pokémon. A team of two? Okay, Alec. Let's see. A Magikarp. A weak Pokémon and a strong Pokémon? Is that the combo you're going for? Okay, we'll just slash the Magikarp. Slash the Magikarp should be easy enough. Dio, if you can't watch for the Magikarp, I'm gonna be somewhat disappointed. Okay, there we go. 
Because Slash, as I said before, not the strongest move we have on Dio right now. And Gyarados. Well, you already know what move I'm gonna be using against Gyarados. You already know what's gonna happen now. We're gonna roar. Of time. To one shot. Yep. And there we go, Dio's first level up since joining us. Wants to learn Dragon Claw. Should probably be better than Slash because it's Stab. Then again, type coverage and everything. It actually has less power. Actually, no, it has more power. It has more power. It doesn't have the crit chance. What should we do? Should we keep Slash for just a little bit of type coverage? I don't feel like we should, honestly. Normal type moves are rarely ever that useful. Dragon Claw is Stab, gets boost by, boosted by the orb. Yeah, I think everything's pointing towards getting rid of Slash, so let's go. Slash can go. <clears throat> and Aqua Gruel level 2. Sorry I skipped your text, but it wasn't anything important anyway. For these NPCs, I can't forgive myself for skipping text sometimes. Because honestly, who really cares about the NPC text, if we're being honest? A jar of honey, okay. Yoink that. Hello! <clears throat> listen, listen, can you tell me what kind of Pokémon you have? <laughs> You're about to be surprised! Holly... <laughs> oh no! Oh no, Dio's, Dio's gonna be killing Holly! <laughs> this is... Oh no, it's a, it's a cannon matchup! <laughs> Your stand is too powerful for you, I'm sorry! <laughs> and there she goes! You're so tough, I'm stunned! Sorry, Holly, but Jotaro isn't around anymore to stop Dio. Pikachu fan club. Why is there a Pikachu fan club? I'm gonna go in, but again, kind of overrated. <laughs> I'm going for a Pokemon championship with only Pikachu. I hate you. Wait, there was another character in here to talk to. Pika! Pika Pika! Pikachu! No. You're gonna have to die now. Pokekid Janet? With, who would have guessed it? A Pikachu! Dio! I need you to Zawaru this ass. Okay. Just Dragon Claw it, honestly. That should be more than enough. I hope. Yeah. Don't static me, thanks. Okay. Another Pikachu. And just to make sure that it can't use the static ability on me, we're gonna overkill again. For all of time it is. And down goes Pikachu. Deserved. Pikachu! Screw you. Again, far too overrated. I need a lot more practice to become a real Pikachu. You're never gonna be a real Pikachu. And even if you could be, why would you want to be? Let me guess, Eevee fan club? No. I had a dream. It was a wonderful dream. I dreamed that a trainer would bring me a giant Remorade. Oh my gosh! That dream was no dream! Uh, how big of a Remorade did you bring me? I... Apparently I have a Remorade. Okay, Rubbermaid, let's see. That Remorade was... 17.5 inches. I know a genius who brought me a Remorade that was... 23.7 inches. Okay. Honestly prefer Raichu. Again, I just think Pikachu is just so entirely overrated. I know it's their mascot, but... Ah... Uh, you wanna fight? 
when I first started fishing, catching anything made me happy, but those days are long gone now. Now I get annoyed if I can't beat my record even by an inch. Bip. What do we got over here? Again, we haven't get gotten an encounter in this area yet. Hidden items, maybe? We need to be careful because we could get an encounter here. Jar of honey. Okay. And if we do get an encounter, we don't we shouldn't ra we really shouldn't waste it. There better be an, a hidden item over here. There isn't. Okay. So nothing back here. Got it. Hello! <laughs> oh, we'll ride upon the sea in the boat, just you and me. That's the way of the sailor, way of the sailor you sing too. No. I do not sing, I just by principle, it's horrible. If you heard me sing Mark, you would know. Mantike. Prepare to get clawed to death. By Dio himself. Dragon Cloidus. Nice. What do you got to say? Your Pokemon, they're looking good. Why, thank you. What do you mean they're looking good? I only showed you one. Hello, kid. <clears throat> Dio, killer of Debbie. Yes, but sadly already proving himself to be far stronger than you. Mainly in the defensive department. Because let's face it, Dio can ta take hits. I mean, he's a vampire, what do you expect? Look, look, look at my Pokemon, it's really cool. I'll be the judge of that. Or rather, Dio will be the, ju will be the judge of that. Connor. Hey, is that the Remorade that the one fisherman wanted? You should really go to him. Show off your Remorade. Impress him with its length and girth. <laughs> well, that is, assuming I don't kill it, which I did. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You really shouldn't show me Pokemon. Dio is just gonna slaughter everyone. Oof. I had to hold onto my inner tube. I held and tight to my inner tube. Yeah, yeah. Sure, excuses, excuses. Hello. Oh no, Dio's about to kill a cop. Dio's about to kill a cop. That's, uh, that's also canon. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, it's only a kid. He scared me. Dio's about to scare you a whole lot more. Thomas. With your knocked owl. You really think you stand a chance? Against the almighty Dio with the power of the world on his side. Most powerful stand to ever exist. Boom. You know what? Imagine. Imagine for a moment, if you will. The World Requiem. Imagine the World Requiem for a moment. And then weep. In fear. <laughs> Now that we got that uh, thought in our heads, let's keep moving. I'm a bit of a scaredy cat, so I'm always paying close attention to everything. Sure. Next one. The only items you have are throw are Pokeballs. But is that true? I want people to think about that. That's why I give away these technical machines for fling. Thank you. Not sure if I'll use it, but potentially. Using that move, the Pokemon holds whatever its item it's holding at the opponent. Whose effect depends on what item is hurled. Remember, the move fling fails if the Pokemon isn't holding anything. What's up here? Just a way to the tall grass? Or something else? Come on. Find some good stuff. Item? Carbus, okay, Carbus, Carbus, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. We definitely take what we can get. Also, I feel like in that corner back there, there could be a hidden item. Again, we could get an encounter here. 
But that is still not on the main count, so. Understood. <laughs> Dio, you might as well kill it, honestly. I'm not stopping you. Since we encountered something and you're gonna be able to one-shot it anyway, why not? Plus it outspeeds you, for some reason, so we mo might not have been able to get away. <clears throat> so killing it might is that probably the more efficient option. Yuk-chan leveled up. Again, everyone's on the same level except one team member. And there's an Ultra Ball, okay. The same ball Dio was captured in. Hello, lady. <laughs> After enjoying a meal at the hotel restaurant, one has a battle. That's the social etiquette. If you say that's the social etiquette, then I'm... I agree. I agree. Mainly because that gives me free XP. Low Pani. Is that the first time we're seeing a low Pani? I'm not sure. In any case, low Pani is incredibly frail, so it should be another easy one-shot for Dio. But let's face it, what isn't an easy one-shot for Dio? Ooh, that's actually gonna hurt a bit because it's super effective. Then again, it's it's one low Pani up against the mighty Dio, so... Hmm. <laughs> Dio? I'm very disappointed. Floats is really fast, that's part of its gimmick. Yeah. I get it. But it's kind of annoying if you encounter them in the wild and you have to get somehow manage to get away from them. Also the fact that we didn't one-shot low pony. Should have gone for a special move. That might have one shot. Sorry, Nicola. Nicola? Enchanting. And that leads us back to where we were. Okay, so we've cleared up, cleared out most of this area. Let's see what we can find. This trainer up here we haven't fought yet, and then we are approaching the end of the area, I think. <laughs> Takes both brains and brawn when you're out at sea. Aye, it's not an easy job, the sailor's life. I'd imagine it isn't, but then again, is there ever such a thing as an, such a thing like an easy life? I guess if you're born with incredibly rich parents and they're incredibly generous, then yeah, that's an easy life. But other than that, eh, I don't see it. Alright, time to one-shot again, Dragon Claw. But I imagine you're not having an easy life considering you're using Phoebus, which is not exactly a strong Pokemon. Let's face it. Gastronaut, on the other hand, a little, more, a little bit more powerful. Definitely. Two shot, maybe? Two shot, okay. Oh, of course it gets confusion, I was gonna say. Because we used, um, uh, we used Water Pulse against, against Dio many times and never got confusion. And now an another Gastrodon uses it and gets confusion immediately. And Dio hits himself in the face immediately. Don't you dare get the Ancient Power Boost. I don't believe it. Dio. The one and only Dio. Is actually having some trouble now. Really wasn't expecting that. Again though, I think we're right about uh, ready to reach the next town. I like how trainers just disappear once they're once they're doing their animation. Like they're doing their animation, telling the Pokemon to attack, and then just disappear for the move animation. <laughs> how nice! <laughs> there we go. Down goes Des uh, Gastrodon. Dio levels up, and a Machoke. Okay, we're just gonna Psychic and that's gonna be it. Again, I'm assuming this was the final trainer in this area. There were a whole lot of fishermen, all lined up in a nice neat row at the southern part of this area. Nuke-chan, the crit wasn't really necessary, but thanks anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Luther, you lost. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we're at the end. 
We're gonna come back here to get grab our encounter. I think we can get one if we just, you know, try to get a water Pokemon, maybe? Sunnyshirt's gym leader has been bored lately, I hear. Apparently there's been a lack of, of wild challengers. For her to describe Sunnyshirt's gym in a word, it would be shockingly electric. Oops, that's two words. Sunny Shore City, you're part of the Elite Four, right? <clears throat> Yo, fellow trainer, there's no masking at all of serious toughness around you and your Pokemon. Oops, sorry, I should introduce myself. Name's Flint, I'm one of the Pokemon League's Elite Four. I just had this idea, maybe you can pull it off. It's about the city's gym leader. He's really lost his enthusiasm lately because there have been so few good challenges worth his time. He's so bored that he spends all his time renovating the gym. And then the blackout happened. That sure didn't lift his mood. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? I need you to give him a battle that's so hot it will reignite his passion for battling. Counting on you, hot shot. On it. Sunny Shore, solar powered. <laughs> this is a major port town. There's also a gateway to the Pokemon League. <laughs> okay. Cities, a lot of electricity, especially the lighthouse and the gym. They finally decided to turn all the roads inside the city into giant solar panels. Sunny Shore is a si uh, sunshine city, so the system works perfectly. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I wish to heal my team. In particular, Dio. Actually, getting Dio on the team might be a good thing. You know why? Because now we have another Pokemon to resist electric type moves efficiently. Because we had multi we had two Pokemon with an electric type weakness and only one that's immune. Now we have another one to resist it and lost one of the weaknesses. So maybe it's a good thing that we got this little switch done. But still, still could have been better. Always like the city concept. It is quite nice, honestly. The only problem with turning solar panels into roads would be that they have to be quite sturdy, otherwise there's the chance of them getting damaged more easily, because people constantly trampling on them, you know. Plus, you have to uh, keep them somewhat clean so they work as efficiently as possible, so you have to clean the roads far more frequently than they would in any normal city. But other than that, the concept definitely is amazing. I once dreamed of becoming a gym leader. Though that dream never came true, I got to live with Pokemon all this time. It's been a blessed life. Wow, you're really cool, you have seven gym badges. I wonder if he changes his dialogue if we have the uh, next one. Sunny Shore City is situated on a narrow spit of land by the sea and mountains. To make up for the lack of space, the city builds solar panels to provide power and uses roads. It's a place where nature Pokemon and people are, are as one. <laughs> Demarians, hey! Hey to you as well, welcome to the stream, how are ya? How are ya? Glad to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Really doesn't work with our current technology, but it's cool. It definitely is cool. Honestly. Oh, Sid! Oh my god, thank you for the... Th thanks so much! You just recently came by and gifted a sub, and now you're sub subbing again too? Thank you so much! If you were a gym leader, what type of gym would you run? Ooh, that's a good question. Do I have to limit myself to... I'm guessing you mean like uh, basic gyms that are like specifically one type of Pokemon because I know there's I'm not sure if it's in the mainline games as well but I know for, sh for sure that there are some games that exist where um, gyms are built around a certain theme of Pokemon rather than a type but uh, if I were to pick a type of Pokemon I think it might be maybe grass type just because, you know, my first Pokemon and all that, plus there are a lot of cute grass types. Then again, you know, another one of my favorite Pokemon is Porygon Z. And I would really like to be able to use that. Mm, oh well. One type of Pokemon, but you can't choose any type. I think it would probably be grass type. Pro I definitely have my Meganium. Uh, because, yeah... Again, I would like to have a team of Porygon Z, but I just can't see myself as a normal type gym leader. Electric or Steel could probably also work, because there are quite a few nice Pokemon. Then again, for Electric, while I like the concept of the type, it's being a gym leader of that type, I don't can't think of any real Electric Pokemon that particularly interests me, so I would probably drop that. 
So probably grass. It's a team of six Porygon Z, yes. Yes. <clears throat> but otherwise, if I had to theme it around a concept, I would go like um, like a science-themed gym where I have like a team of stuff like Porygon Z. Behem, I think it's called. The psychic type from Gen 5, the alien thing. Um... Maybe Kling Clang, you know, stuff like that. Which just reminds me, I think most of that would just be plain copying Colress's team from Black and White as well. <laughs> I'm basically copying a whole bunch of his Pokemon if I did it like that. Damn it! <laughs> ah. <clears throat> oh well. I heard some things about Victory Road, which leads to the Pokemon League. Word is that the road is harsh and harrowing. Better load up as many items as I can carry. You can buy stickers for decorating Pokeballs at Central Market. Use those stickers in a cool way, and your Pokemon will be really happy. Well, the only Pokemon I wanted to make happy already died. Some muck for good measure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could make like a team of improbable breeding combinations, like Skitty Waylord and Gardevoir Muck. Like pairs of Pokemon that can breed despite the fact that People don't really know how that works or why that's a thing. Also, hello. Yes, that is very important. Gotta say your greetings. But it's nice to see you again. <laughs> Once when I was in the Grand Underground, I fainted. But then Rock rescued me. The spheres found in the Grand Underground are like gems. They can obtain goodies by trading spheres away. The Underground men in Eterna and Byron of uh, Canalef are related. At Byron's son Rogue, and you have a trio of that, uh, dedicated diggers. Have you gone, gone to the Grand Underground lately? Depending on where you go down, you end up in different places. That's why I use my Explorer Kit as many places as I can. I haven't gone down there since it got explained to me. I will do that in the future, but I just don't see the use right now. Head to the Grand Underground and have fun down there. Make it an adventure. You should work together with friends to collect glossy stones before you dig up fossils. Apparently something good will happen if you do that. I hear there are special places in the Grand Underground where Pokemon like to gather. Do you have just... Are those triplets or just three identical looking people randomly in the same place? Sunny Shore Market. Might as well check it out. Also don't forget to save regularly. Since we're exploring Sunny Shore, we might as well go into the market too and talk to people. Oh yeah, the Alga! It needs to work a little harder. If it does, I'll give your Pokemon something nice. I'm sure some of my other Pokemon deserve something, but Dio, not right now. Ah, please allow me a little of your time, if you will. You won't regret it. Welcome, may I help you? Ah, so you're the market guy. Heart sticker, bubble sticker, fire sticker, flora sticker, song sticker, star sticker, smoke sticker. Okay, got it. Is there anything else I can do for you? No. Uh, see the sticker merchant there? He came through with different stickers today. Just wanted, I just wanted to see. <clears throat> Sunny Shore Market is best known for its big selection of Pokeball stickers. Okay. Good to know. Again though, I don't really need them right now. It's a blank sign painted white. Hmm. Probably just say dual types only since it's on, uh, one of the few things most of uh, my favorite Pokemon have in common. I mean, yeah, I I get it, <clears throat> but there's a lot of Pokemon that fulfill that condition. <laughs> Whatever the environment, people and Pokemon adapt to live here. That's what we call to survive. That's what we do to survive. Excuse me, what are you doing here, Jasmine? Uh -huh. What is Jasmine doing here? What is Jasmine doing here? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm very, very, very happy to see people from other regions, but I just wasn't expecting it. Oh my god, please tell me I can fight gym leaders from other regions. Please tell me. <laughs> uh, um, my name is Jasmine, and I'm a gym leader. Uh, I'm sorry not the gym leader. I'm sorry I'm not the gym leader of this city. Uh, I'm a gym leader in the Johto region. Uh, um, it would be nice if you knew about the Johto region. Oh, if you don't have the city's gym badge, you'll be forced to turn back. She just likes lighthouses, I suppose. I mean, I guess, but still. Come on, please. 
Let's see. Oh, that's the gym. Okay. Good to know. That's where I need to go. Again, though, I'm gonna explore everything. Julia's house. Delightful ribbons for Pokemon. Might as well check in here. Oh, hello. You're quite the nifty trainer. My, husband's is, my husband is a sailor, and he's off working somewhere far away. I long for the day he comes back to me. Well, that waiting every day gets to be very boring, though. I know. How about you visit me, and I will tell you stories every so often. Uh, I'm not really a story person unless I get something for it. Who do we have over here? A long time ago, there was a boy named Cyrus who lived here. He seemed to shun others, and he preferred the company of machines. He was a brilliant student, I recall. I often wonder what became of him. Uh, the leader of an evil organization is what became of him. I'd heard that Team Galactic was up to no good. But here at Sunny Shore, we've never even seen any of them around. Oh, I'm guessing he stays clear of Sunny Shore because that's his home and he doesn't want to harm any of the people here. Or give them ba a bad impression of him. Interesting. So he has some, some resemblance of a heart. The giant rock. Isn't it actually a Pokemon? It looks a bit like Snorlax. Pokemon Rock, Sunny Shore's heritage site. Item. Ah, and there's a lighthouse, of course. Now it makes sense why Jasmine is here. Well, who lives up here in this secluded little spot? Hard to reach. A clearly bright and cool thing you have. It's undoubtedly a Pokedex. They're awesome, yeah? I got okay by the Pokedex company to develop original Pokedex apps. Hey, you're a trainer, aren't you? Can you do me a favor? I've got Pokemon of different natures, right? May I see them? I guess. Yep, your caster then has a serious nature, alright. Thanks, I'll give you this calendar app for your Pokedex. Okay. What am I in the mood to see now? I'd like to see a Pokemon of a naive nature. Maybe maybe at some point, but again, we're focused on other stuff right now. I don't want to get all the Pokedex apps right now, but I will get them at some point. I don't even know if I have all the Pokemon necessary here. So for now, more exploring. There's the lighthouse. Where's the lighthouse? The beacon that lights Sinnoh. The gym leader uses too much electricity. He needs to think about the city's power needs too. Nah. Why would he? Let's see, what can we do in here? Oh, there's the gym leader. The Vista Lighthouse represents safety and cautious protection to sailors. And I have a far away you can see with the binoculars. I'm going to go to that far away. I'm gonna go to that far away with my Pokemon one day. I'm going to go that far away, I cannot read. Despite the fact that I read visual novels a lot. Hmm. <clears throat> So you're the latest challenger up against Sunny Shore Gym. Alright, I've decided. If I find you to be weak, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon League. I'm all done with renovating the gym, so I don't need to be here. More than anything, I want to have battles that can thrill me again. As the toughest gym leader in Sinnoh, I'm going to unleash everything in my arsenal on you. Okay, bye! I'll see you at the gym! So exploring was definitely a good thing, otherwise, you know... Wouldn't have found the gym leader. <clears throat> I like how half my team at this point consists of mythicals and legendaries. But hey, again, for first attempt, I feel like I deserve to play it as safely as possible. Okay, and that's everything fully explored, I think. Nice. In which case, it's time to go to the gym. Hello. Yo, hiya! He's finally come back. He seemed to be feeling upbeat too. I have a hunch that he recognized your toughness right away. I bet he's excited over the thought of battling you. Remember what you have to do, Hotshot. Give him a battle that's so hot, it will reignite his passion for battling. Alright, Hotshot, I'll be waiting at the Pokemon League. He just got beamed. First of all, Seven Rocket, hi. And second of all, what do you mean I just got beamed? 
What? Huh? What happened? Nothing happened, that's what happened. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Okay, final gym. Let's see what we can do. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Let me check uh, your trainer case and see how many badges you have. One, two, three, whoa, you've got like, uh, you've got seven gym badges. That means if you can beat this gym leader, you'll be headed to the Pokemon League next. That means this is the last time I get to give you advice. This is it, kiddo, listen carefully. One last time. The gym leader here is a master of electric type Pokemon. That's all I have to say, the rest is up to you. Thanks for the advice. I appreciate it. And that should turn it. And now I can go up here. First fight in the gym. Can you make it to the gym leader? Sure now. Pretty sure. Then again, Dio is currently the weakest member of the team, and Dio is one of the Pokemon I'm, I want to be using against the gym leader. Also, I like how the backgrounds in all the gyms are very unique. And animated, even. Especially this one is very animated. I like it. I like that. Gives all the gyms a bit more of a unique feel. Okay, Dragon Claw. Again, Dio, Dio is going to be very useful because we resist Electric-type moves. Naturally not as good as Immortal, but still. Still pretty decent, I think. The gears spin round and round. I spin down and out. Which you deserve. Who's next? I'm gonna beat up everyone I see. Okay, that will turn... Yeah, I can... Wait! I can go over here and fight someone. I want to win! I channel that desire through my guitar! I want to win! That desire makes my Pokémon a star! Well... Too bad that you're not gonna win, Jerry! You think you're gonna, gonna win against me, Jerry? Jerry, really? You think you're gonna win? Okay. Let's see what you got. There's the pressure. Okay. Dragon Claw. <laughs> one shot. Nice one, Dio. I like the fact that we're one-shotting everyone and we're not even using Immortal yet, and Immortal is the one with the super effective moves. And the complete type immunity. Couldn't win on course for us. But on course for me. Ooh. Okay. Let's see if I step on the button. It'll turn like that. Which really doesn't help, so I need to step on it again. But that means I can't step down from here, so I need to turn it again. Now the only way I can go is over here. So I don't really need to think. If I can only go one way, then that's the way I'm gonna go. <clears throat> this is the toughest gym in Sinnoh. That's why I'm here, to learn the best battle techniques around. Well, you're gonna be learning real quick. School Kid Forest, with your Mr. Mime, ooh. Part Fairy type, that's not... Again, I feel like a lot of these trainers don't know what gym they're in. We've had barely any Steel types in the Steel type gym. In the previous gym, we also had a few types that just didn't match, and now we have a Mr. Mime in the Electric type gym. Some of these people just don't know what gym they're supposed to be in. I don't get it. Gotta educate yourself on the typings you're supposed to use, first of all. Oh well, I guess it's a free win anyway. This is so weird, I know, right? Again, over half, more than half the Pokémon in the Steel-type gym weren't even Steel-type. Again, you're tough. You have a Steel-type gym, and less than half the Pokémon in the Steel-type gym are actually Steel-type. Some of this stuff is just so weird. And the Ice-type gym also had some problems, if I remember correctly. Okay, this works. Now we can go over here. Oh great, there's another Pikachu kid. Hello. <clears throat> Look at the way I'm dressed. Can't you see that I'm hardcore? What are you gonna use? Let me guess, a Pikachu? Oh yeah, four Pokemon. Let me guess, four Pikachu? <sighs> Shouldn't be surprised. Alright, Dio. Do your thing. Do your thing. 
Dragon Claw. We're gonna get paralyzed by one of them for touching it. But it's still the best move we have currently against them. One of them is gonna paralyze our static. You just know it's gonna happen. Especially since we have to take down four of them in a row. There I go now. Work tomorrow. Understandable. I'll see you around. Don't worry, we definitely won't be finishing the game today. But we will get the final gym badge. And maybe in the next Pokemon stream we'll get th get we'll at least get to the Elite Four. Possibly even through them. But not this stream. And I start I'll start on my journey to get to them. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'm very sorry that you died. But at least we have Dio now, so your sacrifice wasn't in vain. It wasn't in vain. Okay, final Pikachu. We didn't get paralyzed yet, so the final one is gonna paralyze us, right? No, we actually went. We actually got through without getting paralyzed. Huh. That's really, really nice, actually. I was being serious, don't laugh at me, I mean it! Yeah, you're very hardcore, I know. With your team of four Pikachu, the most overrated Pokemon to ever exist, but sure. Train up! Whether you're a trainer or a guitarist, it takes the occasion to improve your mad skills. Okay then, show me your skills. With one Pokemon. Lonnie. Raichu. Hey, at least he knows how to evolve Pokemon. But guess what? Since you only have one Pokemon, that means I get to go all out. And you know what that means. It means Roar of Time. Otherwise known as the World Door. Quick attack. 1 HP? No, 4 HP actually. Okay, not bad, not bad. But now you're gonna die. <clears throat> yup, see. But you actually, you're the first person in this gym to deal damage to me, so you should be proud of yourself. For knowing how to use quick attack. And there you go. My skills seem to have let me down. I must have been out of tune. I'm always out of tune. Sucks, doesn't it? The rocker animations. Mm. There's something, I guess. Okay, now I can go over here. Now step on button. And now I fight someone else. Yeah, but they're interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not looking for tough trainers to battle. I've been battling here because I want to feel the rush. The rush of what? Fighting tough trainers? Destiny. What a name. Destiny. I like it. I like it. I like it. Well, sorry to say this, Destiny, but your destiny is to lose. First of all, this thing is definitely gonna get one shot because it has low defense. Also, that's a psychic type, you know. You're in an electric type, Jim. I know you're probably confused because it's yellow, like the electric typing, but that, because it, just because it's yellow doesn't make it an electric type. <laughs> See, this, this, this is an electric type. Sadly though, that's gonna die too. Light screen. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Is it gonna tank Raw of Time now because of it? I hope not. Okay, good, good. Would have been very disappointed if that meant it tanked Raw of Time. Aqua leveled up. Aqua, we're not gonna be using you in this gym, I'm very sorry. Aqua Ring. <laughs> Aqua! <laughs> I can now Acid Armor Aqua Ring. I can boost my defense to plus 6 and use Aqua Ring to gain permanent healing. And if that isn't enough, I can also easily go to plus 6 and special attack using two tail glows. And then sweep. Okay, I like this. <clears throat> Spark! That is what our gym leader did to the gym out of boredom. Imagine screwing up your own gym. That's disgusting. I love it. I know, right? <laughs> ah. Reminds me of my Clefairy. Actually, no, Clefable is the final evolution, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, Clefable is it. Is, yeah. 
But yeah, my Clefable, um, I don't have it in this game, but again, you know, with my, with me going for the living decks and all that. I have a Clefable that has Cosmic Power, which boosts Defense and Special Defense, so both defensive stats. It also has Minimize to boost Evasion plus two. And it has Recover. So it can go to plus six uh, defense, special defense, and evasion, and heal itself. And then its final move is its attacking move. Now that's a mod that hurts if it gets to set up against you. <laughs> also, you have a bit barrel? You have a water type Pokemon in the electric type gym, are you serious? Oh, Raw of Time missed for the first time ever. Okay, Dio, I'm gonna need you to hit the next one, otherwise you're gonna fall asleep, and we don't want that. It dodged twice in a row, are you kidding me? You're kidding me! It it never missed up until now, and now that it does miss, it misses twice in a row to allow the opponent to set up status conditions against me. This is bullshit. I'd rather I'd rather it have missed before. But not twice in a row in a Actually, no. No, we take those. I'd rather it miss here and just be mildly annoying, rather than having it miss on the gym leader fight. I think this is actually better. This is definitely the better outcome than having it miss against the gym leader. Now, Dio, if you could do me a favor and wake up. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. Sorry, Preston, you lost. Spark! Who else who else wants to fight me? Fight me. That's not enough, turn it again. Um That doesn't allow me to get through. How does one turn off the electricity? No, seriously, how does one turn off the electricity? Oh, maybe I need to backtrack from here. Okay, got it, got it. I think I might have to backtrack. Maybe there's somewhere I can, There has to be somewhere I can turn off the electricity, right? No, that doesn't allow me to go back. Can I just walk under them? I have a feeling, I I feel like they would block me if I tried to go through that, but I guess I can try. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Okay, I, just, I can just walk under it. It really looks like that's supposed to be blocking you, but apparently it isn't. <clears throat> well, I'm surprised you've come this far, but you'll have to turn back. There isn't any chance that you could ever beat me. Now I can beat you, but I'm definitely gonna have to turn back in order to heal before facing the gym leader. Because I always heal before facing the gym leader, Zachary. Move here. Steelix, which is yet another Pokemon that is definitely not an electric type. Hey, I think they were missing you in the steel type gym. The steel gym didn't have enough uh, steel type trainers, you see. You should, you should really head back there. How much damage is that gonna do? More than half. Okay, we take it, even if it's not very effective. Bulldoze, that's gonna hurt. Plus, we might get outsped now but, and get hit by another Bulldoze. And if he has another Steelix after this, we're definitely gonna switch. Ah, but we don't get outsped, because Steelix is slow. Okay. Okay, nice one, Dio. Nice one. Nuke jump leveled up. Medicham. It's gonna use a fighting type move, and I really don't feel like dealing with this right now. So I guess since Nuke-chan just leveled up again... Quick switch. From one steel type to another. You use Thunder Punch. Okay, you're not using a fighting type move. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. 
In any case, you lost. Very sad. Moving on. What makes your Pokemon so special? Um, the fact that most of them are legendaries of some kind? Okay, that was the final trainer before the gym leader, so that means it's healing time. Sorry, just passing through. Just, just passing through to heal up real quick. And there we go. Don't worry, I'll be back in a second. Also saving all the time, gotta save as many times as I can. And let's get that stupid gym badge. Pokemon Center, where are you? You're down here somewhere, I know you are. There we go. Hello, I've come to heal my team. Specifically, Dio. Everyone's caught in a everyone's caught in a Pokeball except for Dio. That's how special he is. I mean he is a god, so naturally he needs a more powerful ball than the others. Okay. Back to the gym. And this time, this time I'm here to win. So we were basically one-shotting most of the Pokémon in the gym. And that's without bringing out our super effective attacker. So we're probably... We're probably good to take uh, to go to the gym leader right away, without doing any more grinding or st or something. I think, probably. Now again, I might be wrong, but I hope I'm not. Okay, going around like this, which will allow me to step over here and then go up here. Past the annoying kid. Which will allow me to get over here. Well, I can turn this, then immediately head over here. And turn this. Then I can head upstairs. And then it's basically... Yeah, we're getting very close to the gym leader now. Now I walk right underneath the electricity. Definitely safe. And then I go over here. Apparently I go back down? No. Has to be something I'm supposed to be doing up here, right? If I step on the button again, will that allow me to go there? No. How do I do that? Okay, so I definitely can't reach it by doing that. So I have to do it like this. It have to come from the top. Okay. Got it. So it needs to be spun... Two more times, I think. I need to spin it two more times. Which I should be able to do from down here. Right? One. Two. Unless that spun it completely around. That spun it completely. Okay, I only need to spin it once. Because that goes by two rotations. Okay, got it. There we go. And now this should take me straight to the gym leader. Okay. <sighs> okay, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. There's no use... Drawing this out. <clears throat> Alright, challenger. So often the trainer manages to make it all the way here to me. But when they do, they've all been boring battles. Didn't even break a sweat beating them. <sighs> I'm Volkner, the gym leader. They say I'm the top gym leader in Sinnoh, but... Anyway, I guess we better get this done. I hope you're the trainer who'll make me remember how fun this is to battle. Mm, yes, yes. I'm gonna stomp you into the ground incredibly hard. <clears throat> I've only been using, basically only been using Dio 
for this entire time while training. So hopefully he should be leveled enough to stand up against you. Let's see. Your lowest Pokemon is gonna be level... 46. So your highest is definitely gonna reach up to level 50. Definitely, okay. Volt Switch? Starting off a Volt Switch immediately, okay. You're not gonna switch in your Ace immediately, right? Ambiform. That's not an electric type, buddy. <laughs> ah, we didn't one shot. Very sad, very sad. Ancient power. Let's see if we can get the boost. Ooh, full restore. He's using his first full restore. That's great, that's great. Come on, Omni Boost. Omni Boost. Give us the Omni Boost. No Omni Boost. Okay, but the next Dragon Claw will kill it. Double hit? Not very effective, buddy. Why did you switch into Ambipom? There must have been a reason for you to choose Ambipom specifically. Oh well, it's gonna go down now. Okay, Ambipom goes down. And he's used one of his full restores. Nice. Also, the red portal opens and the Torch Crew apparently comes in. You're just in time, we're currently fighting the final gym leader. Octillery. You know what electric types are, right? You had one electric type out already. Half your team isn't even an electric... Half your team isn't even electric types. How come half your team isn't even an electric type Pokemon? When you're the electric type gym leader. Yikes. Okay. Yeah. Boost your crit rate, you're gonna go down now, so it doesn't matter if you boost your crit rate. Okay, now he's gonna switch Raichu back in, and he's probably gonna Volt Switch again. So, bring in Raichu, then Volt Switch out to bring in his to bring in his Ace, is what I'm guessing is gonna happen. Right? Okay. Raichu comes out. Now I'm gonna be prepared for a Volt Switch, so I'm just gonna Ancient Power right now. Yep, there's the Volt Switch, okay. Saw that one coming. Okay. And your ace is a Luxray. Makes sense. At least half your team is an Electric-type Pokémon. Okay. Ancient power. What do we get? Boost or no boost? No boost. I'm gonna play it somewhat risky. I'm gonna roar off time. Tank it? Yeah, easy. Easy tank. Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yes! That should take out his ace. Even if it's his ace, there's no way it'll survive raw of time. Now, we know we have to recharge for a turn, but since Raichu kept using Volt Switch, I know pretty much for a fact that it doesn't have anything against us. Otherwise, it would have used another move. So, we're safe to go now. Here it comes. Get ready for my trump card. Your trump card is your very first Pokemon. Are you serious? That's not your trump card. Your trump card is already dead. Yeah, it's using Volt Switch again. Knew it. You know what? I'm gonna roar off time again. Surf. Huh. Boom. Two roar off times. One for your first. Your two electric types were killed by roar off time. Famous friend. I am not. Fr I am not famous. Very much not famous. Hey, we have all gym badges now. <clears throat> You've got me beat. Your desire and noble way your Pokemon battled for you. I even felt thrilled during our match. That was a very good battle. How nice of you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was the most fun I've had in a battle since. I don't know when. It's also made me excited to show you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. This is your eighth gym badge. You've earned this. Final one. Let's go. The Beacon Badge! Her Beacon Badge lets you move the hidden move Waterfall from your Pokage. Waterfall happens to be key if you're going to the Pokemon League. Also, because you've collected all 8 badges, any Pokemon at any level will now obey you, without fail. I want you to take these two. Thank you, I'm gonna use stickers eventually. And... Volt Switch? Is it Volt Switch? It's basically... No Charge Beam. You never use Charge Beam against me, even once. It contains Charge Beam. It may raise special attack if it lands. It's pretty hot. Okay, thanks for Charge Beam. 
Also, why... I mean, I do appreciate the headpads, by the way. I'm sorry I read that a little bit late. Headpads are more appreciated than norming, definitely. But why microchip? I'm not a microchip. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, well. Okay, got it. No original characters. All from... All from Ed's world. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, let's go to the Pokemon Center real quick. Because even though I made quick work of him, he did still kind of damage uh, Dio a little bit. And I can't have that. I can't have Dio be damaged. Okay, heal the team and then immediately save, because now we have all eight gym badges, which means we can start our journey towards the league. About time, right? Okay, save. Okay, let's go. Jasmine is here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Jasmine is still here, right? She's waiting for me. Interesting, but in a good way. Ah, okay, okay. Hey, Jasmine. The city makes me feel at home somehow. It's next to the sea, and there's a lighthouse. Oh, that's the city's gym badge. Must be very good. Uh, um... Please take these two. TM99. Let me guess. TM for waterfall. Yep. Thank you, Jasmine. Each of those technical machines contains waterfall. If you use waterfall from the Pokecatch, you'll be able to get to the Pokemon you need. I don't know how I should say this, but good luck. Thanks, Jasmine. We don't need zombies right now. Let's go. Oh, also... Wait. This still counts as part of the city, right? Yeah, we're still in the city. We can get an encounter in the city. We might as well do it, right? We could catch a tentacruel here. Okay. Okay, Tentacruel. You're gonna survive an Ancient Power, right? I mean, it's just Ancient Power. It's basically our weakest move. It's not even a super effective move. You easily survive it. That's what I'm talking about. Nice one. I'm gonna go. Alright, it was nice seeing you around here today. See you around in the future. Again, you won't be missing much probably because we won't be making it all the way to the League today. But we're try gonna try to get close to it. But anyway, thanks for hopping into stream. Okay, was that metal sound? I'm guessing that was metal sound. Yeah. Okay. Well, time to catch it. Let's go for... Let's just use Great Balls. Should be good enough. You don't need to use a harpoon. We're not trying not to kill Tentacruel right now. We're trying to catch it. And we did it. Unless you want to use it against the zombies that you mentioned. Okay, so we need a name for our Tentacruel here. And I'm gonna name it... What am I gonna name it? Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. Ha. Yeah, I don't really know of a good name. I'm just gonna call it Jelly. All right, Jelly, to the box with you. Okay, that was our encounter in Sunny. Uh, in Sunny Shore. Let's add that to the list real quick. Sunny Shore. There we go. We have an encounter in Sunny Shore. Now this will likely take us... Yep! Two, 223, new encounter. Immediately adding it to the list. 
223 encounter. I'm just gonna uh, try to quick ball it. Let's just try. Quick ball? Nope, quick ball didn't work. Very sad. Bubble beam? Uh, you know what? I don't really care about Mantike. If it's gonna die to a non not very effective move, it's gonna die. If it survives, we'll catch it. If it dies, it dies. It survives. Okay, we'll catch it. Okay, I guess we will catch it. Let's see. I'm gonna use Great Balls. <laughs> okay. What's with your catch rate? You're a baby Pokemon, you shouldn't be this hard to catch. There we go. <clears throat> okay, we got a Mantike. Getting some new encounters, though we don't really need that many water types. We have a good water type already. Okay, you're gonna be called... I need another name! Also, a Clone War is breaking out in the, in, the, in chat. Uh, Mantike is gonna be called... This is gonna be called man, and yes, I know it's female, but I'm gonna call it man, because I just don't know anymore. Plus, we're never gonna use her. <clears throat> okay, now that we have our encounter here, I think now we just should just use repels. Where are they? I know they're in here somewhere. There we go. I still have quite a few, so there's no harm in using them now. Okay. Well, let's look around. First trainer battle over here. Hello. I'm determined to go to the Pokemon League, no matter how hard it is. Aha. Is that so? Of your Luminion. Okay, okay, Luminion is... Actually an evolved Pokemon. Always gonna appreciate when people actually evolve their Pokemon. Now then, I'm just gonna roll off time in one shot. That's simple, right? <clears throat> Come on. Die. Got it? Okay. This is so hard. Well, that's because you suck. Next one. <clears throat> excuse me for wearing my bikini. You're swimming. You shouldn't ex you shouldn't excuse yourself for wearing a swimsuit while swimming. Azrael. You're using a baby Pokemon. That's gonna be easy. Is Azrael a fairy type already? I'm not sure if it only gains the fairy type as it levels up. I think at this point it might still be a normal type. No, it's already fairy type. Okay. Got it. <laughs> In that case, die. The war is over. That is good. No more war. Everyone is happy now. And Azumaro. I guess we'll flash cannon it. Probably twice, because it's tanky. Oh, but it almost worked with one hit. That's neutral. Yeah. And then Ancient Power to finish it off, because why not? <clears throat> and boom. Boom goes the dynamite. You really didn't need to land a crit there. <laughs> Was I multitasking too much, battling and swimming at the same time? Well, you had to swim because otherwise you would have drowned. So, hmm. Okay, that's a dead end. Okay, so next fight. <clears throat> I train at a Pokemon Gym too! Don't think you're going to win easily. Oh, but I'm going to win easily. Oscar? What are you gonna do, huh? With your man tag? I just caught one of those, actually. <laughs> P 
person code, are you okay? No one is okay. No one is ever truly okay. But I'm pretty okay, despite the fact that someone died today. Debbie, sadly, got one shot by Dio before we caught him, so... It was very sad. It was very sad to lose Debbie. But, you know, Debbie sacrificed himself so we could catch Dio. And we should appreciate him for that. <laughs> because in the end, Dio is definitely far stronger than Debbie could ever hope to be. That's another level up, nice. And Dio is still the lowest level on the team, so... We definitely need to fight a bit more. Okay. Sorry, Oscar. You suck. Must awake. No crash awake. I'm so sorry I failed you. Oh. Don't worry. He failed against me too. Oh, we got a 2v2. You know what? Two steel types versus the whatever water types they have. Seems like it could be kind of interesting. I'll go for the 2v2. My dream is to swim in the sea in every region under the sun. Deep breathing before battle. Well, let's go. Oh, we got a full team of six. Okay. Wingull and Meryl. Let's see what we can do against them. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna Dragon Claw the Wingle, and we're gonna Flash Cannon the Meryl. Because why not? That seems like it's gonna work. Yup, that's one. Who falls down? All the people holding on to the robot fall down, or the robot topples over and falls down? Hmm. Oh, we got a problem. Actually, it shouldn't be a problem, as long as we can take it out. Okay, Nuke-chan, I have complete faith in you. Actually... But just to be, uh, just to make sure, just to make sure we're gonna double focus because if this thing gets off a ground type move, that's gonna hurt actually. So let's go. Okay, we did kill it, but best to be safe. Better safe than sorry. I think that crit might have mattered. Thanks for the help, Nuke Chan. Okay. Aqua leveled up. Nice. Nuke Chan is gonna level up tune. Tune. Wow. Soon too is what I wanted to say. Okay, the final pair? What's the final pair gonna be? What's the final pair you've got? A Wingull again? Okay. And... A Pelipper. The Drizzle. Okay, the Pelipper could potentially be a bit of a threat. So, I propose we focus down the Pelipper. And if Nuke-chan manages to one-shot, which he does, then the Wingle will die anyway. There we go. Alright, Dio, do your thing. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think we should at the very least be able to clear out all the trainers in the water down here. <laughs> but I'm not done with my dream. Inhale. Exhale. But don't do that while you're underwater, okay? Again, saving regularly. Again, the game hasn't crashed again since my first stream, but can you blame me for playing it safe? Might not look like it, but I'm traveling now. Traveling from where to where? Traveling to the Pokemon League, Ricardo? You think you can swim up the waterfall? I'd like to see you try. Okay, Dio, you're gonna raw off time and one-shot. 
easy, right? Yeah, there we go. Got him. Now give me your money. Give me your travel money. You've got the upper hand on me. Of course I do. I'm the best. Or more specifically, Dio is the best. How do I get down there? Around here? No. Ah, all the way down here. Okay, found it, found it. And that detour was for... Rain Dance. You know what? Not the worst, not the worst. Probably not gonna use it, but it's a good TM. Also, can I just say I really like the water physics in this? The water animations look so nice. Okay. Hello. I've decided if I can beat you, I'm going to the Pokemon League. Not gonna happen. Also, if you want to even ch try to go to the Pokemon League, you need to have all badges first. Do you have all badges? If so, how did you get past the electric type gym leader? Thought so. <laughs> now, here's what you have to do. Die. Aqua Jet, okay, you're gonna actually damage Dio a little bit. Good, good. Do what you feel you have to. <laughs> so many people. And I technically probably could have fought them before heading into the gym. So... Huh. That's interesting, I guess. Okay, Tentacruel, which I'm gonna play it safe and just war off time. Do it. <laughs> there we go. Another one bites the dust. Oops, sorry, wrong character, for, uh, wrong stand for the character. <laughs> okay, there's another trainer over here. I found a train who's floating in the water. I am not technically floating in the water, I am sitting on a barrel that's floating in the water, but technically, same, same, same. Okay, Crystal, with your, with your Wingo. I'd really appreciate you using Pokemon to give me a little bit more XP, but I guess I'll take them, since they're easy to kill. I'd feel bad for them, but honestly, you're living next to the final gym, you should expect strong opponents to come through here. So, you know, seek it. Okay, that thing can actually be a bit tanky, so probably worth using Raw of Time against it again. And there we go, that's a nice one shot. Crit. That crit definitely didn't matter, but nice. And more leveled up. We love to see it. I've had my fill. Okay, anything else over here? You know I gotta check everything. That's just how I am. Hi. Hmm. I came out here because I wanted to see the Pokemon League for myself. Well, you're gonna have to head back to heal your team after this. Well, actually no, because I'm gonna kill your entire team. Sakaria? 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 Huh. Interesting name. I probably butchered that horribly because I have no idea how to read it. <laughs> Drizzle. Setting up the rain. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, Ancient Power is super effective, but Dragon Claw is still gonna be stronger. Look at this. Boom. One shot. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of Ancient Power at some point once we get a better move, definitely. Gastrodon. Ooh, Gastrodon is tanky. Gastrodon is actually pretty tanky. It might take two Dragon Claws to take it down. Yeah. Had a feeling. But it was close. It was definitely a close call. Uh, might as well get rid of the final Ancient Power just for this. Actually, no, it might not even kill. Flash Cannon it is. And boom. Gone. And your final Pokemon is... What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Show it to me. A Machoke. 
Okay, bring out the fighting type, not a bad idea. Sadly though, it's gonna die before it can use the fighting type move against me. Very sad. Okay. And down he goes. I'm shocked, no really, I am. Okay, what were you guarding back here? A pearl. I mean, free money, so I'll take it. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> Next trainer. My very kind of guy, someone that looks good out in the open, out on the open sea. So a sailor? There was one we ran into a little bit earlier. I want to talk to that guy. A Golda. I think it's defense. It's defensively more specially oriented, so we should be able to just use Dragon Claw to take it out. Let's go, Dragon Claw. Yep, thought so. Ah, uh, that crit might have mattered. I'm not sure. Really not sure. Gamer Girl leveled up. Not surprising, again, we haven't used her in a long time, we're not learning Fire Blast, forget about it, it's just not a re very reliable move. And reliability is important. The tide is going out. Again, have to save as frequently as possible, just to play it safe. Next trainer! <clears throat> Did you know I was crowned the champion of a swimming suit contest, so now I'm trying to win a title at a super contest show. Are you now? Okay, what does that have to do with me, Cassandra? Cassandra, you want to tell me what that has to do with me? You want me to appreciate your Finian? I can appreciate it by killing it. Because now let's watch this. <clears throat> Dragon Claw, dead. Next one. A Pelipper. Pelipper, again, can be somewhat tanky. I think this is where I'm gonna use the final... final raw of time I have currently. Running out of PP over here. So many trainers to fight. But that's a good thing, that's a good thing. It's definitely a good thing to get as much experience as possible. I've been sunk. That's not good. You should definitely try to resurface. Yes, keep using them, please. Hidden item? Oh, come on, this just reeks of hidden items, but there's nothing here. Okay, got it. Moving on. Hello. Yes, I know I can serve, but I'd rather swim instead. It does seem weird, I agree. Hello Rob, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're arriving a little bit late because we're three hours and three minutes in. And you know what the, my preferred streaming length, length is. <laughs> Don't worry though, we're gonna keep going a little bit longer. Don't worry about it. Uh, what did you miss today? Just to tell you the truth, Debbie died. Debbie died. Debbie sacrificed himself so we could catch Dio. Now we have Dio, the master of time, on our team. But still, it is very sad that we had to abandon Debbie for it. Debbie got one shot immediately on the first turn of the fight. There was very little I could have done there to avoid it. And if you get one shot on the first turn, what do you do, honestly? It was, it was very sad. But anyway, we already have all our gym badges now. And we are currently on our way towards the Elite Four. We only just started heading towards the Elite Four, but we are on our way now. As playing Minecraft, I made an axe called a wo wo a crossbow, wah wah. Also, Debbie no! Debbie no indeed. But Debbie was the most frail team member we had. It was only a matter of time until he got hit by a rock-type move or something along those lines. Kabloom! And, you know, died. It was only a matter of time, really. We should be grateful that he survived this long, and that when he finally died, it was to a legendary. 
quite impressive, honestly. Ancient power is what kills him. Also, we just ran out of PP, so this is nice. If, yes. But yeah, he got killed by ancient power on turn one immediately. Quad effective. That did him in. He, we got outsped too, so there was really nothing. Like, we got outsped into ancient power one shot. Broke me once, but that only added to my resolve. Victory Road. Lives up to that lofty name. Anyone upstairs to talk to? I'm pretty sure that isn't grammatically correct. I'm pretty sure I said it grammatically. But I'm not sure in which way I said it exactly, so... Also, why would I say it's nice that I ran out of PP? Hmm. Victory Road ahead. Our first steps into Victory Road. Here we go. I'm gonna follow the regular path for the time being. I'm gonna stick up here for as long as I can. Okay, we're going down to get an item. Got it. First trainer of Victory Road. Let's see what they have. Code has amnesia confirmed? Probably. I keep battling so I can soar ever higher into the skies. Why are you in a cave then? Does this make sense? Probably not. Noctowl? Okay, okay. I shall defeat this Noctowl. In the first train of Victory Road, let's see if you can live up to the Victory Road hype. Okay, not too bad when it comes to levels. Oh, why are you not using Ancient Power? It's super effective! That's why. Because despite the fact that Ancient Power is super effective, using Dragon Claw is still the better choice. Which is why I'm gonna get rid of Ancient Power soon. Unless we get an opponent that it's quad effective against, I'll always use... I'd always rather use Dragon Claw. Also, against this we're gonna roll off time. But it missed. Oh, that's gonna hurt. But now we're gonna roll off time. Come on. Dio, do your thing. Thank you, Dio. <clears throat> okay, first train of Victory Road. Not quite up to level 50, but definitely getting there. So that's a good sign. We might actually be able to get some XP. Plus, all the Pokémon are fully evolved. That's what I like to see. It seems to have been grounded. You're underground currently. You're currently underground. You should know this. Okay, what do we get? What did we fight for? We fought for a full heal. Okay. Yes, I'd like to use another one. Okay, let's go down. We'll head this way. Okay, that leads back. Okay, that leads back. Good to know, good to know. Be warned, mortal, I can see the future. Ah, yes, another good quote you have there. Nice, nice. Psychic Bryce. Okay, Bryce, you have a Haunter. You know, I was just talking about how all the Pokemon here are fully evolved. Way to prove me wrong, buddy. Way to prove me wrong. Oh, well, I am gonna take it out using Flash Cannon. That should do the trick, right? Thought so. Haunter isn't really the most defensively strong Pokemon. Gengar, actually, no, you do have it. You do have a fully evolved one. Okay. That's nice. Um, I'm gonna Dragon Claw in this case. I think your special defense is a bit higher than your physical defense, so I'm gonna go for the physical move to definitely guarantee the one shot. Because if you ha can one-shot, you definitely want to go for the one-shot. Healing Wish. No! Why does everyone always want to learn moves to kill themselves? First Ugly Bee is like, Today, three of my Pokémon have tried to learn moves to kill themselves. Three of them. First Ugly Bee is like, Hey, I want to learn Explosion to blow myself up. Then Immortal was like, hey, I want to learn Memento to kill myself and lower the opponent's stats. And now, and now we have Nuke Chum being like, hey, 
I want to learn healing wish to kill myself in order to heal someone else. Healing kills, yeah, healing wish. <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna go in just to show you the description. So you know what it does. There. The user feigns. In return, the Pokemon taking its place will have its RP restored and status conditions cured. So basically, Nuke Chan would kill herself to fully heal another team member. And we do not want that. So again, that's three Pokemon today who tried to learn moves to kill themselves. Three in one stream. We don't want that. Not in a Nuzlocke. But yeah, healing kills. Ugly Bree, level, and Aqua. All happening on a Nuzlocke, yep. <laughs> so be it. I will now divulge what I know of your future. Hmm. And you know what? They all tried to look- They all tried to kill themselves after Debbie died. <laughs> so once Debbie died, everyone is- All my other team members are like, it's no- <laughs> No, Debbie died. This world is not worth living in anymore. Let me end myself. But we will not allow them to do that. Instead, I will pick up Torment. <laughs> okay, that means there's only one path to progress now. That's good. That's good. We're, making, we're definitely making progress. So now I know I have to go down here and go left to progress. So down here, that's just backtracking, yeah. Down there is also backtracking, so we need to go up here. That's, this is the only path to continue. <clears throat> Show me how you've battled to get here, let's do this! Alright, you better have Pokémon that give me some nice experience, Mariah. Of your Golduck, okay, okay. Could give decent XP. Apply that pressure, and then just Dragon Claw it into oblivion. Die. Honestly, Dio, definitely a powerful team member. Even though it's even though he's another Steel type, Blissey. Oh, that's gonna be. I appreciate the fact that you're using Blissey, because Blissey has such low defense that it's gonna be an easy one shot. And. Blissey gives a ton of experience. Let's see what we can get out of this. How much experience are we gonna get from this? Oh yeah, that's nice, that's nice, that's what you like to see. Alright Mariah, thank you, you've been the best trainer I've encountered so far. So that's how you battled. Thanks for the free experience, I appreciate it. Do you have any- do you know anyone else who has a Blissey? Okay, that le leads into the next room. Do we have an item? Yep, yeah, secret item, of course. Okay, so we cleared everything we could here. Now we advance into the next area. Great. Puzzle. Puzzle time! So we break this. We definitely break this. We can push this. Okay. Yes, I would like to use another one. Full restore. Nice, nice. Does anything special happen if I push this over here? Oh, oh I can't push it up there. Oh, I could have jumped that using my bike. I definitely need to go back. In that case, let's look down here right now. There we go. How do I do that? Okay, I figured it out. Okay, got it. But first we're gonna go over here. <clears throat> you, one like a dude tells me you're a real contender. Am I? Does one look really tell you that? Okay, Omar. Let's see what you can do. Rapidash! Just do it! I'm trying my best to do everything. Rapidash is definitely gonna outspeed me. But... That's fine, it's fine. We're still gonna one-shot it. Never mind, it doesn't outspeed me. <laughs> Feels bad. That moment when 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 you're not even outsped by Well then again, Dior is the master of time, so. Carnivine. 
Okay, grass type, grass type, nice, nice, nice. Dragon Claw again. <clears throat> because it works, it just works. See, it just works. Dio finally level 55, slowly catching up to the rest of the team. And Rampardos. Which we should be able to hit with a Steel type move easily. So, Flash Cannon. And there it goes. Nice. Honestly, Dio is just cleaning out everyone right now. And I, li and I like that. Please tap as you look. Honestly, I'm gonna need that though. Because I feel like the Elite Four is gonna be incredibly tough. Imagine Dio died. Oh no. Dio can't die. I mean, he's Dio. Can you can you hold on to this rock for me? Thanks. Hello. This turtle strange will be a good way to see if I have what it takes to own the Pokemon League's Elite Four. You're not gonna. You're gonna perish right here. You will be Dio. Dio. Nah. Come on. He's a legendary. He controls time itself. There's no way he'll go down that easily. He uses the power of Zawado. I mean, look at this. Easy one shot here. <laughs> See that? And Clefable's supposed to be tanky. And he's still the lowest level in the party. You really gotta hurt me emotionally like that. You really have to hurt me emotionally like that. That's it, you're gonna get the raw of time. This is for hurting me emotionally. For reminding me of the fact that my starter perished. Before he had the chance to become a tree. And you have the tree. Sydney. I hate you, Sydney. The battle just now must make you tougher than everyone in the world. Eh. Not really. Okay, so I'm gonna go back because that seems like the way to progress. And I feel like... Yeah, that's definitely the way to progress. I want to go up there because it feels like there's a good item up there. So we're gonna have to go down and back up to reset the puzzle. Yes. That resets it. I'm gonna break some rocks. I'm gonna push this boulder. Alright, there we go. And I'm gonna push this boulder in the opposite direction. And I'm gonna get on my bike. Jump over here, yes. Break this rock. Get on my bike. Switch gear to a lower gear, so I can hop on here. There we go. And get a max ether. Worth it. Then I switch back to a higher gear. Get a nice run up. And we're good to progress. Yes, I would like to use another one. So I push this, then push this, then push this, and I can get through. Now we get to this little rock puzzle, where I push this, walk around, break the rock, and push it back up. Easily, easily be able to manage to make it through here. Yeah, there's no way. Unless, yeah, no, that's a one-way ticket back, isn't it? That's a shortcut back. There's no way I could have done anything here to make it past that path. Very sad. Let me take a measure of how you have raised your Pokémon. I've raised them well. As well as I could, anyway. Clayton. Said Zawado, oh, the router turned off, effectively stopping the stream. Yes! Haha! <laughs> I stop time using Zawado! <laughs> because that's how you know we are incredibly powerful here. Alright, let's go Flash Cannon because you lowered my physical attack. So I'm gonna have to use a special move against you if I want to have a chance of one-shotting. Let's see what we can do. One-shot? Yes! Nice job, Dio. 
But it's good to know that I actually have the power to effectively stop time. Ground type. Okay, ground type, somewhat dangerous. Ground types are definitely kind of dangerous. I'm gonna play it risky here and draw off time. If we miss, that's a problem. Okay, we hit. That should one shot. There we go. Yeah, Dio's biggest threat right now are ground types, but thankfully, we could one shot this one. Ugly B, nice one. Everyone's leveling up. Brilliant. Yes, brilliant diamond, in fact. <laughs> Okay, now we're going back downstairs. Which brings us back here, but now... Okay, we have to go down here. There's no other way to go. Don't jump down there, that's the way back. Okay, against the fighting type, dude, I'm definitely gonna switch stuff up a little bit. I'll let Aqua do some stuff. Brilliant, immediately gives you a couple thousand y yes That's how it works, you know. Hello. My Pokemon knows karate, I'm warning you, it's a tough one. Tougher. We'll see about that. Miles. I'm more into meters personally, but okay, Miles. Send out your Machamp. Well, I send out Aqua. Okay, we're gonna let you get one hit in, okay? You're allowed to get in one hit. While we tail glow. Let's see what you can do. One hit. Unless you want punch man, you're probably not gonna be able to do this. Dual chop. That was actually two hits. That was one more than we agreed on. That was one more hit than we agreed on, so prepare to die. You deserve this. Got him. And after all this time, Aqua still only has one attacking move. She never ever learned another attacking move. At least not a better one. She only learned water type attacks and the only others we learned were worse than the one we already had. So yikes. This is evil Aqua, I know she's useful. Sometimes at least. Okay. Now reorganizing again. Actually, I'll put Aqua into second place because she's the second lowest when it comes to XP, if I'm not mistaken. But Dio still needs to be out front because Dio still a little bit behind on level. Okay, now we have a little bit of a maze apparently. There's a train on the right, so we'll go left and see where this takes us. Okay, that's not a way to progress. Okay, what do you want? I can see the past. Yes. That is called the power of memory. Shingling. Okay, it's steel type against steel type. But I'm I'm just going to say my steel type is probably a little bit stronger than yours. Just a tiny little bit. A an eensy teensy little bit stronger. Let's see. Boom. Yeah, thought so. Okay, what else you got? Chimeco. Um, I think we're gonna flash cannon again. And... Oh, it survived. Okay. Oh. Yawn is dangerous. Please kill it. Please kill it. Please kill it. Dio, you need to kill it in this turn or we're in trouble. Thanks, Dio. Oh, she turns out and require. <laughs> Imagine. You know what? Honestly, at some point I want to try a randomizer Nuzlocke. But I'm scared. Very scared. Aura Sphere. That is definitely better than Ancient Power. We'll take it. It has more power, more PP, and it doesn't miss. Ever. I think we're definitely getting, a getting, um, getting Aura Sphere over Ancient Power. Plus, we don't have a single fighting type move on the team. So this could be very beneficial. Yeah, I know we technically also don't have rock type moves, but you rarely need to use those, I think. There's just, uh, there's just so much in your past. Yes, and even more in our future. 
That is assuming the world doesn't end soon, which it honestly might. Do I need to go this way to get to the item? Hmm. Or is this the way to progress? Please tell me this is just the way around to get the item. <laughs> Looks like it. Yep. Never mind, this might be to progress, actually. Dragon Pulse. That is actually a really good move. Really, really good move. Okay. Let's see who else is over here. It's really annoying that I have to go around you like this. Anything hidden down here? A pearl, nice. This world's free trial of existing is expiring, yeah, pretty much. And no one wants to get an ex wants to get an extension of of it. No one wants to actually pay for it. So the free trial is expiring because no one feels like paying. Hey! Victory Road. Somehow it feels as if my journey is now coming to an end. But before the final chapter is written, I must pen your defeat. He basically said my line right there, right? That those were my lines, Henry. Oh no, it's Henry! It's the one and only Henry Stickman! He's gonna beat us into the ground! Um, unless we do Roar of Time. Our last Roar of Time. Oh my god, he dodged Roar of Time. He's incredibly powerful, but that's just Henry Stickman for you. Um, in that case, I'm gonna... Dragon Claw? Which likely won't one-shot. No, it one-shots. Okay. Never mind, Raw of Time was entirely unnecessary there. Also, still rarely using Gamer Grill because she's constantly over-leveled for some reason. That wasn't how I planned the final chapter to go in my writing class. But yeah, why... Why is Gamer Grill constantly so over-leveled considering we almost never use her, like ever, because she's so over-leveled? Hello. We formed a combination that's in perfect sync. How do you expect to counter that? Easily. That's how I expect to counter it. I expect to counter it easily. Two Pokemon? Pat and Joe have two Pokemon. Okay. Boost to EXP? Maybe, but why would she have that? That's the question. Intimidate? So we're gonna go for special moves, definitely. So... Let's take out the Medicham first. Because that's definitely the bigger threat out of the two. Alright, Aqua use Bubble Beam. Maybe that's gonna be enough already. Not quite. But now Dio's gonna finish it off. Yep. And there goes your first Pokemon. Definitely the more threatening one. <clears throat> and now Gyarados should be easy to take care of. Dragon Dance. Okay, that's kind of threatening, but... It's two against one, so even if you D-dance, we should still be able to take you down. Quite nicely. Yeah, sure, let's go for Dragon Claw anyway. And Bubble Two... Two... Two moves that are honestly meh. This one's not very effective, the other one is reduced attack power. Oh yeah, this is really not doing much. This, on the other hand, did a bit more. Another Dragon Dance, okay. Slowly but surely starting to become somewhat threatening. Doubled your attack stat. That could be a potential problem. But you should die this turn. Okay, that was a wasted turn. You shouldn't have gone for another one. You got greedy there. You should have just used your chance to attack. Now you're gonna die without getting the chance to use all those boosts. That was a bad decision on your part, buddy. Very bad, very poor decision making there. <clears throat> okay. You and your Pokemon make a perfect, beautiful combination. You and your Pokemon gain power by helping each other out. I mean, they're already pretty powerful. So, so powerful that I'm gonna save, in fact. Right, time to travel by lake. Let's see what's up here. 
This is where I progress. I think. No, it's not. Okay. Good, I went the wrong way. Thank God I went the wrong way. Ooh, also Max Revive. Very useful in an Arslog. Haha. <laughs> okay, but thank God I went the wrong way. Because this way I don't have to constantly move around trying to find all the dead ends. Because I found them purely by chance. So going up the waterfall is definitely the way to progress. Good to know. That is very good to know. Okay, let's go. Let's go up. I wonder how long Victory Road is in this game. Like, am I about halfway through at this point? I don't know, honestly. Imagine Max Revive first kills, then revives a Pokemon. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> I'm making an already strong Pokemon grow even stronger. I'll help. I'll need your help with this. Dragon Tamer Andre. Oh, it's Dragon versus Dragon. Gabite. Gabite. You have a Gabite. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I just realized you know something. You know what? You know one thing. We're using, have, we've been using repels this entire time in here, right? We didn't get a victory road encounter yet, is what I'm, is what I'm saying by that. We have not yet gotten a victory road encounter. There's no way I could have won. We could still get a good encounter here if we decide to drop the repel for a second. But honestly, I don't feel like we need another encounter right now. Big mushroom. Nice, nice, nice. Now I'm kind of curious. What's over here? No. We're not going there. Oh, we're back in the main room again, if I'm seeing that correctly. Maybe? Or maybe it's a different one. I'm not sure everything here looks the same. Yeah, I think this is the main room again. Okay. Finish editing my video, now I can probably pay attention. Victory Road Encounter. Yes, we haven't gotten one yet because I keep using repels. But I really don't feel like we need one currently. Ooh, item. Razor Claw. Good, 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 good. But we have to get one eventually. Do it. Okay, once the repel wears off again, I'm gonna get the encounter. I can sense that your Pokemon have a lot of trust in you. You and your Pokemon, you seem to be a glow. Okay, once the repel wears off, I'm gonna go for the encounter. <laughs> okay, we got a Tentacruel here. Should be another easy one-shot for Dio. Still, Dio is still the lowest level Pokemon on the team and he's one-shotting everything. And we're on Victory Road. So, I'm cautiously optimistic when it comes to the Elite Four. Which, again, we won't be facing them today, but we're gonna make good progress. I'm not even sure if we're gonna clear the entirety of Victory Road today, but I'm gonna try to get as far as possible. Aura Sphere. First time we're using this. This thing's gonna have Sturdy anyway, so even if it doesn't one-shot, we're fine. Oh, it would've one-shot if it wasn't for Sturdy. Okay, good to know. Earthquake. No Heavy Slam. Not the best move you could've gone for. I would've gone for a Ground-type move if I was you. Oh well, your fault for messing it up. <laughs> okay, down goes Golem. You have one more Pokemon, let's see it. Empoleon. Oh hey, you have a starter. I encountered another person with a Torterra. Are we gonna see an Infernape somewhere in Victory Road as well? I'd imagine so. It wouldn't make sense for them to... Uh, to make us encounter two out of the th out of the three starters and just leave Empoleon out for no apparent reason. I'm sorry, leave Infernape out for no apparent reason. <clears throat> okay, there we go. You should have gotten the crit on the previous turn, really, Dio. That way you could have one-shot it. Oh well, who cares. And down goes Edgar. Ah, I understand it now. Okay, where does this go? What were you guarding over here? Ooh, ooh, this is ooh, I don't like it. Okay, I'm gonna go up to that one dude now. Guarding that doorway. 
Let's not use another one, but that means I'm gonna reorganize the team real quick. Who can... who would be best... Immortal would be best for catching someone. Immortal is best for catching someone. Okay. Let's see. What is our encounter gonna be? Here it is. Our encounter is... Covered by Species Claws. We have a Machop already, so this is covered by Species Claws, meaning we get another encounter. Okay. But we could have gotten a Machoke. Okay. Is this our encounter? Once again, Species Claws. We lost the rock before. Actually, this is literal dupes clause because it's already we already had this evolution stage as well yeah Dwayne sadly died but that still doesn't mean we can get another one zinc okay why are you blocking this doorway what's back here let me size you up you're going to become even tougher you meet many many Pokemon that's what you should be thinking eventually your world will grow even larger But I can't go here yet. Okay. So that pathway is blocked. I don't know where that leads, but it's apparently not where I need to go right now. Which means the only way to go to progress, I think, is down here. Left or right? I'm gonna go left first. Let's see. I hope the left way is the wrong way and right is right. Damn it, left looks like the correct way. I'm gonna go upstairs first and see, but this looks like the correct way to go. Never mind, it's not. Okay. Thank god I chose the wrong way. That's what I like to see. Okay. Now how do I handle this? Okay, got it. Got it. Let me get out of the box so I can die me- No. No one can die. I don't want anyone else to die. If at all possible. TM? Dark Pulse, okay. That could be useful. <clears throat> could be very useful. Okay. Now we go back down. No. Not gonna do anything here. Now we go up here. Oh. Okay, put the encounters on hold for a bit. We're gonna get another trainer battle first. Hello. Top level trainers gather around this place naturally. I'd go as far as to call this the ideal place to train with the best. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. That's why I'm going out of my way to fight every single person here. Clinton. With your gibble. I've had a gabite before. Your gibble is nothing. Worst it could do is rough skin uh, damage me. It gets rough skin, right? I think so. Ooh, but I'm slowly running out of PP. <clears throat> slowly running out of PP. I I have enough to finish this fight, but then uh, that's gonna be about it when it comes to Dio's Dragon type moves. Yeah, this fight is gonna use up all of Dio's Dragon type moves. Damn it. This ain't good. I mean, I have, an, I have the rest of my team too, but Dio needs the, the training. Gyarados. I don't think I have anything good for it. Yeah. In this case, you know what? I might as well switch. Might as well. Um, who's gonna take it down? You know, again, I'm realizing that I do not have anything good against water types right now. Like, I don't have a single super effective move against water types. And nothing against flying types either. So I really have nothing against Gyarados. I had an electric type at some point, that being Simba, but Simba died. Okay, it's D-dancing. Mildly, mildly threatening. But, I don't care. We can still win this. We just need to Psychic. Come on. Over half. That's what I need. That's all I need. Crunch. That's gonna hurt a bit. Ooh, that actually hurt quite a bit. But the next Psychic is gonna kill it, so we're good to go. <laughs> but that Crunch actually hurt a bit. That was worrying. 
Imagine if it got a crit. <laughs> but we get the crit, of course. Again, should have gotten it a turn earlier, would have been a lot better, but okay. Who cares? I mean, I care, but still. And there we go. Dio is now oh, pretty much almost caught up to the rest of the team. That's why I like it. You get to battle tough characters like you. Am I tough, though? We still haven't gotten our official encounter yet, by the way. We encountered two Pokemon ever since getting rid of the uh, Repel. And both of them have been covered by dupe slash species class, so... Hmm. Can we even get something new in here? I think so. We should be able to. Wait, we're getting... We're going outside? No. Okay, um... Let's go back in. We still need our encounter. <laughs> Where's our stupid encounter? Damn it. Sid, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I don't want to keep running around here in the hopes of eventually finding something I can catch. I'm gonna try three more. Okay, three more Pokemon. We'll try for three more. And then we'll head out. Three more encounters. I hope nothing get I hope we get something new in here. I think that's new. I think we don't Or do we have an Onyx? I'm not sure. Do we have an Onyx? It should tell us if we have one. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Damn it, nope. Dupes claws. Okay, two more. We're not gonna get a victory road encounter, are we? Wait, can't can't you find Gibble in here? Can't you find Gibble in here? That's probably incredibly rare, and I don't want to grind for that right now. But if we really truly need one, we can come back here. If we really truly really 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 truly need one, we can come back. I think. But I'm very happy with my team and I honestly don't want to replace anyone. Plus, I'm not even sure I can get anything here that would be worth kicking someone out of my team for. Yep, nothing. Alright. Let's get to the Pokemon League. Safe over there and... We'll see where we go from there. I'll probably end the stream then and there. And then next time, next time we'll take on the League. So please, next time I do a stream for Pokemon, you know you gotta be there early because of what's gonna happen. There has to be post-game stuff, right? Because we haven't been to the Distortion World yet, and I know the Distortion World is a thing. Is Distortion World really post-game in this? I would have thought that happened when you first encountered uh, Dialga slash Palkia. But apparently not. Cyrus just walked away after that, so... So is Distortion World post-game? Hmm. So this is just the pre-building, so I can go in here, right? I can still go in here to interact with a PC and heal my team, right? Okay, thank you. Your Pokemon are so calm, even though they're up, going up against Elite Four. I like how they're so loose and relaxed. Okay, first of all, heal my team, please. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Next up, save my game, please. Next up, check upstairs for other people to talk to. Yeah, didn't expect anything. Okay, so next time we're going up against the Elite Four. Honestly, I hope my team is leveled enough. I think I might go back and make sure everyone is on the same level, meaning that Nuke-chan, Aqua and Dio need a little bit more leveling. Although it makes sense that the Mythical slash Legendaries are currently lower level than the standard Pokemon. So it ba kind of balances out, I guess, maybe. You know what we can do right now? 
Let's make sure all of our Pokemon have decent items. So, Ugly Bee is the only one who doesn't have an item currently. What can we give you? What would be good for Ugly Bee? Huh. What is Razor Claw? Sharply <laughs> Claw increases the holder's crit ratio. If we don't find anything else, that'll do, I guess. Um, I suppose slow moving. Yeah, I don't need that. Yeah, I think the best thing we have. I think Razor Claw is basically the only item that's not entirely useless. On, no, 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 no. Not Nuke-chan. Ugly bee. There you go. Okay, let's see. When it comes to the M's. We have Dark Pulse, which Ugly Bee could learn. Dragon Pulse, probably better than Dragon Claw, but I'm gonna keep Dragon Claws just so we have both physical and special attacks. Torment we don't need, Rain Dance we don't need. Waterfall... I think... no, we don't need that. Only Nuke Chunk and Lord Charge Beam, and I don't like that, it doesn't have 100 accuracy. Don't need Fling, don't need Dream Eater. Roar is basically useless. Rock Slide, again, I don't like the lack of accuracy. Dazzling Gleam. That could be a good move. Okay, you know what I'm finally gonna do? Actually, no, no, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna do that yet, because if you teach a Pokemon a new move, the new move will have maxed out PP. Meaning, I'm gonna use Aqua's Bubble Beam for the time being, so I can then overwrite it with, um, with Scald, meaning it'll, I'll get the PP for free. Ah, big brain. This is big brain time. In any case, this is where I'm ending this. Technically, we have three people watching, but by the time I raid someone, I have the feeling that a lot of you are gonna be gone. So I'm not sure it's worth doing a raid, honestly. Unless you feel like we should do one. Maybe. I can check to see if someone is live. No one we've raided before is live, so I'd have to find someone new. And honestly, finding someone new to raid takes, t takes a bit more time. And that basically guarantees that people are gonna leave. I know how this works, okay? I know how this works. Rob, even though, yes, I would... You know what? If someone I've raided before and who's on my little quick easy access list, I would have raided probably, but as it is right now, I guess we won't be doing one today. Honestly, that's not a bad thing. I'll stick around. Well, I'd have to... Again, I'd have to find someone first. If you have a recommendation, I mean, I guess I could. If you were to have a recommendation, I could. But again, it would take some time to look around, find someone to raid. That's fair. Okay. If both of you want to, uh, are willing to stick around for a raid, then we can do one. Definitely, definitely. I, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saving over here. Shouldn't really be doing that, so here's what I'm gonna do. I am finally gonna turn that off. Suji's gonna stick around for the raid still. She's gonna stay up there until we find someone. Okay. Also, I'm gonna leave the music running in the background for a little bit so it's not eerily, eerily quiet like it usually is. Okay. Do not, unfortunately. That is sad in that case. Actually, you know what? Let me... I am actually gonna disable that because that make, makes it a little bit easier for me to do stuff. There we go. Well, let's just look for someone. Um, anyone else playing Pokemon right now? Someone who preferably isn't at the end game. Yeah, looks like all of them are basically end game, possibly. Damn it, it's hard to find someone new. Wait, wrong language. <laughs> Damn it. That seems interesting. Beating BDSP with only Starly. Ah, but they're in this in the last gym. Damn it, they're in the final gym. 
Again, why does everyone have to be in the end game? I don't want to spoil myself. Then again, I mean, I kind of know what's gonna happen, but I want to see the new art and everything. I want to see the new, the new, the new models and stuff. Ah, uh, I guess we won't be going for Pokemon. Let's see, what else could we go for? How about? Damn it! I hate it when I don't know who to raid. Okay, we have a recommendation. I guess that works. Let's see what this person's about. Again, I'm gonna check in real quick and then I'll decide what this person is like. Currently, oh boy. Seems like a nice person, I guess, possibly. I don't really know yet, but yeah, nice enough to definitely be a bigger streamer than me, which makes me slightly worried. I'm always a bit nervous when raiding people with more, with a much higher view account and everything. But I guess I might as well. Before I don't raid anyone, let's make her our target. Okay, hang on a second. Ugh, gotta stretch real quick. There we go. Okay. Pixie Wixie is the person we're raiding. Let's go. Seems nice, but again, I'm kind of intimidated by channels who are ever so slightly bigger than me. <laughs> More so than I'm intimidated by large streamers, because for this it feels like... Nah, it doesn't feel like anything. But I always feel like I'm just seeking attention. Anyone else relate to that? Do you always feel like seeking attention? Do, do you always feel like you're seeking... It looks like you're seeking attention, even though you're just doing normal stuff? Because I feel like that a lot of times when I raid. Especially when it's streamers who are a bit bigger than me. Oh, well... Let's raid her. Currently playing Minecraft, by the way. Let's let's see what she's like. Be nice, everyone, and I, I, I'll see you around. Till next time. Bye-bye. Ooh, never mind. It's still preparing. <laughs> still preparing. Always forget that it takes time for the raid to uh, get going. Anyway, I'll see you over on the other side. And until next time. Bye-bye. And that does it for today. Thank you so much for watching this, and to you watching the archive as well, see you around. Bye.